Zodiac has now gotten rid of three, count them, three of my Totally Spies news videos. Let's try a live stream. <laughs> hey guys, how's it hanging? It's Eric Blue Jay here, and welcome to yet another live stream. I haven't done the one for a little bit, so it's going to be good to get back into the swing of things. Now, through the past last month of April this year, of course, we have had quite a bit of Totally Spies news, and I couldn't talk about any of it because Zodiac has been dead against me. Don't ask me why. I don't even know why. But we are here to discuss four points of news that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while now and have some discussion about. And there is a lot of information to go off, new teaser images, and a new announcement of a brand new Totally Spies related project that is in the works. So if you guys don't know of any of that or haven't seen any of that, then you are in for a treat. Now, if you guys could give me one moment, I would like to check the audio <laughs> to see if it is working before we get into the news portion of the stream. So just one moment, please. <laughs> one moment. Let's see. All right, testing one, two, three. Uh, I think it is working, so we are all, we're all good. All right, we're all dandy. <laughs> we're all fine. Very nice. Now, with that in mind, let us continue onward and forward with reporting the news. Now, this is going to be, since it is a live stream, this is going to be a little interactive. And by that, I mean, the reason why, or a reason why, because there can be a few reasons why, but one reason I know why they keep removing my uh, videos from YouTube is because I feel like maybe I am showing images that I am not supposed to show. So in this case, I'm going to be linking you guys the images that I'm going to discuss, if that makes sense. So. Before I talk about X part of X piece of news, I will be pinning in the chat a link that you guys need to click to look at what I am discussing. Because in a traditional news video, I would be showing you guys the teaser image and I would be analyzing it with you guys here on a live stream where I'm assuming that I cannot show this teaser image, which I won't because I might get horribly maimed by Zodiac coming to my house, barging down my door, <laughs> saying, stop showing our images. <laughs> and I'll be like, no, <laughs> I'll show images. And I, uh... <laughs> anyway, so that's what you guys need to do. All you guys need to do is click a link and look at the teaser image that I'm going to show you. So again, if you don't know of any new teaser images or information or of any new projects, you're going to be in for a treat. Now, let us get started. So, let me grab the link for the first teaser image of the day. And this one is actually pretty darn interesting. Let's see, where is it? Do, 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 right here, I see it. We have it. We're sending it. <laughs> we are sending it to the, the stratospheres. Okay, we got it. We got it pinned. So if you click that, that is what we are going to discuss right now. So this is an invisible teaser image. You can't see it. It's over here, <laughs> or it's over here. <laughs> so okay, so this one is like a banner. Is it, does it look like a banner to you? Because to me, it sure looks, looks like a banner. That's because it is a banner, and it was made for the purpose of being used as a banner. Now, this is interesting because this is probably our most high definition image we have so far. It very well may be because this is the most up close teaser image we have so far. Uh, so if you click the link in the chat, this is a teaser image of a close of a, a close up of all three spies. Uh, you know, put from left to right. 
Um, they're pretty much headshots, I'd say. Uh, we have Sam, then Alex, then Clover. Uh, these actually look insanely cool. I gotta say, these do also feel like promotional images. So, for example, if you had like a box, like a merchandise box with like a figure, I feel like there's a good chance that one of these images would show up on that box. Not confirming any like merchandise or whatever, but that would be cool. Merchandise would be cool. Uh, again, I'm not confirming anything right now <laughs> about merchandise, <laughs> but I, I feel like if you look at this image and there was a full body version, which there has to be, but we don't have it yet, this would be on said box. That's just what I think. Now, these are really, really interesting to see because we're getting a little more details being having the privilege of seeing them more up close. We can notice that Alex, you know, in like the, 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 I mean, original seasons, right? She had those like three lines, like, you know how like in anime they have those like lines on their cheeks, you know? Uh, she still uh, has, or she still keeps that momentum going. She still has that on her face, which is really awesome. We have Clover as well. Here, she has her regular hair. Of course, in this image, she's... I'll, she, you know, the wind's blowing. It looks like she's flying with her jetpack forward, which is interesting. And yeah, she still has regular hair. So her have them having her hair changed into a regular model is permanent. It's going through. So the first hair model is uh, no, no go. <laughs> Unless it'll be used as a little like uh, like Easter egg or something. I don't know. Like maybe used once. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Either way, Blue Anderson says, I can't believe Totally Spies is returning. Woohoo! <laughs> That's right. Thank you for tuning on into the stream and being first to the stream as well in the chat. Thank you, thank you. Um, we are talking about news. We're talking about four points. We're on point number one. And uh, I'm going to... For image one, this is a teaser image. So if you click the link in the chat, it's going to take you to the image that I've been talking about for the past few minutes. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning on in. And we have three more points after this one too. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, that's right. Um, her, also, Clover's eyebrows seems to be the same. You know how it was like a little darker, uh, darker, blonde or yellow, something like that. It is remaining like a similar shade. Um, yeah, we get a little close up of uh, Sam. We get her hair. People do say it changed a little bit, but uh, not a little bit. I think a little bit from. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I feel I feel like I've seen people talk about Sam's hair model also having a slight alteration when Clover's hair got altered. I don't think so, but I've heard people talk about that. Anyway, I think that will do it for this first teaser image. Um, oh no, no, we got one more point. Where did this teaser image come from? This came from Stefan Barry's. Um, banner on the his portion of the Zodiac website so that is the origin of this teaser image right there and I'm pretty sure that is all the news for the moment on this specific banner teaser image so that is going to be it for segment one now we have segment number two starting right now and this one's a pretty hype one I have to say so uh, allow me a minute to grab the link to this, this thing, this uh, uh, thing. <laughs> okay, we have the link right there. And now I shall unpin this and add a new pin, point two. There you go, let's get that pinned. There we go. Now we are moving on to point number two of this news live stream of showing nothing for safety. <laughs> anyway, yes. If you guys click the new pinned chat or message in the chat, it'll take you to a brand new image that is different from the previous one. And we all know the original teaser image for Totally Spies Season 7, right? 
it had all three of them kind of not lined up but like in some kind of formation it has been played around with and some things have changed uh, the first thing I want to note, uh, point out is the Whoop World part of the logo. Well, I, actually, there's no logo. We have not seen the logo with Whoop World for quite a while. Are they changing the name, or are they keeping the name the same and unincluding the phrase Whoop World from the title? Because we haven't seen that phrase in new content of teaser images for quite a while. They did show, I'm pretty sure, they did show the logo, but they subtracted the Whoop World from it. So it is still looking like they're going to be removing that from the title. And here is no different because they have no logo to show at all. But anyway, let's get into what this image shows. So again, if you guys click the new pinned chat, uh, the link in there, it'll take you to a brand new image that you may or may not have seen, and we're going to be discussing that right now. Now, first thing you can notice is a new pose. There is a new pose in this teaser image, and this is pretty, pretty big. Uh, so originally, we had Alex in a certain pose. Um, it was more action pose, like, you know, getting ready to fight, you know? <laughs> But in this one, she's kind of more, you know, so in the original, she was, you know, in a fighting pose, but like, you know, slouched a little forward. In this one, she's standing straight up, still in a fighting pose. And I find that pretty interesting, too. Uh, her backpack is gone. I don't think anyone has a backpack on in here, but specifically in the original teaser images, she did have the backpack on, but there is no sign of the jetpack backpack or any kind of new backpack technology shown in this new teaser image, which is pretty interesting. It does give us a new sense of, here is a regular version of the spies without, the, without a backpack as gear. So that's interesting to see. Um, we also now can see her belt. Her belt has the, <laughs> the yellow heart. Uh, because, of, of course, originally we would have seen Sam and Clover's belt, but now we can finally see Alex's belt. Um, so, is Alex the only one with a brand new pose? No. No, she's not. Sam also has a brand new pose. Well, I guess half pose, because morally the pose that has changed is now below her waist. Her position her legs are in is different in this teaser image. They are now more straight, I'd say. Of course, they're they're bending, of course, because her right leg is still is in this, you know, spy-like, female spy-like pose. So that's still going. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. Now, we also have Clover, who hasn't changed uh, whatsoever, I would say. She is still in, in that crouching pose on the, on the knee, and yeah, nothing has changed. But still, this is a good sign because her hair, her n new, aka I guess classic hair model, is not going anywhere. So it's really good to see that they are still going to strive in this pathway, in this pathway, having her classic hair, uh, model on or in the show permanently. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Mr. Orange Cow says, Even though I have not watched Totally Spies in a while, but I like Winx Club a lot. That's interesting, yeah. I do know that a lot of people have a lot of comparisons uh, with those two shows, so I think people might may say, and I probably would say it as well, like, if you like one of them, you will probably most likely like the other one too. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's been a phrase tossed around a little bit uh, in comparison with those two shows. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the stream. Second to the stream, actually. Um, we're doing a little news live stream because Zodiac took down three of my news videos. <laughs> so I don't want to make videos anymore. <laughs> of Totally Spies, I mean. Not videos in general. <laughs> but um, we are separating the stream into points. We're on point number two. We're just about to wrap up point number two also. I'm going to be pinning something in the chat so you guys have some reference to look off 
to know that I'm not lying. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. But yeah, we just finished up point number two. Point number two was a little edit that the teaser image, the original teaser images had pr uh, post Clover's hair. Uh, so there's two new poses for two new, not new characters, two new poses for two characters. <laughs> I say new a lot. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that wraps it up for point number two. Let's move on to the last two points. But first, let's get to point numero three. <laughs> I can count. I'm good at counting. For point number three, I don't have any, um, I don't have any links that I can share. So you're going to have to take my word on this. <laughs> but it was, not even I know if this is true, but I can believe it's true. But it was allegedly announced somewhere that Totally Spies Season 7 will air on TV. Specifically, it was mentioned Cartoon Network in America for its 2024 release date. Now, there's some questions with that too. Does that, it was specifically announced America, but will that carry over to other countries such as Canada, who's has a cartoon network as taking over their Teletoon as of late. So will season seven air there as well? That is something to ask too. Uh, Blue Anderson, uh, sorry, Blue Anderson says it's okay. We all make mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know there's a bunch, there's, I know there's new characters, <laughs> but I want to say like new poses, two new poses for two characters. But I some, I, I said new <laughs> characters instead. Uh, I just want to make that clear. Like, no, there's no new characters, no new new characters shown. We just have the two new characters that were shown a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, so no longer Teletoon, no, uh, in Canada they took it away and uh, it is replaced by uh, Cartoon Network Canada, <laughs> Cartoon Network Canada. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, if, I'm pretty sure it shows different stuff, but yeah. My question is also like, will Woof World air here too? This is something that I would like to know as well. Um, what else? So we, we have allegedly known um, information that it very well may air on Cartoon Network in 2024, which is pretty nice. <laughs> really cool to see it back on TV and back in the Cartoon Network space. Um, it was one of Teletoon's longest running shows, I mean, so that's pretty cool. And I know people on Cartoon Network probably liked it too, so in America too, I mean. And yeah, I'm really excited to see it on TV. And with that in mind, we're going to also be seeing commercials. We're going to be seeing like coming up next things. We're going to be probably seeing promos on TV. So having all of that in mind, having it come to TV, there's a bunch of other things that will come with it. You know, everything I just mentioned, like other shows have their promos, commercials, coming up next bumpers, all that stuff. So uh, having this future in sight, I'm very excited to see it back on TV. Interesting too, that it won't be going as originally planned directly to a streaming service, which I believe it was HBO Max? I don't remember, it's been a really long time since it was first, this was first announced for whatever streaming service, but I'm, I think it might have been HBO. Uh, Mr. Orange Cow says, I like your AMV you made lately, and I really love My Best Friend by Weezer you made a while back, and that song was from Yogi Bear. Yes, that was from the movie. I know that movie isn't too much liked, but personally, I really enjoyed that Yogi Bear movie. And when I remembered their outro song, I was like, all right, let's do some AMVs. I got Johnny Tess, and I, I think I did one for Jimmy Two Shoes. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. It was, I feel like it was probably one of my, um, it could have been better. Like, I don't think that, that song is actually incredibly hard to make a flowing AMV that looks good. 
because uh, I had two attempts and I don't I didn't really like both of them so it really also depends like what kind of song some like this song didn't really have any flow and I usually can make AMVs with no problem because like it just comes natural to me like I can put anything where I want and it just looks good because <laughs> I've seen other people make AMVs and I, I always point out like I would have moved this a little over here I wouldn't have used X scene here if I were to use X scene I'd move it to this other lyric you know that kind of stuff uh, Blue Anderson says and the Cartoon Network Canada before television got shut down and replaced by boomerang that is correct yeah <laughs> Uh, so it looks like it was a lot of shifting around. I also wonder why they, like, what? Why would they go through the trouble from moving so many things? Like, I, they could have just kept Cartoon Network Canada as it. Maybe just change the schedule or something. I don't know. And just have Boomerang take over Teletoon, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> and there's some other deal in there too that I don't know of, but yeah. <laughs> Man, that this is like giving me flashbacks to our our older streams of talking about tell like my latest stream was like a Teletoon stream and it's like just saying goodbye to it. <laughs> oh man, that was a sad stream, but a lot of memories were shared that day. Uh, Mr. Orange Cow says I always had a dream for Johnny Test live action movie would be awesome. That is true. <laughs> Johnny Tortellini. <laughs> yes, Johnny Tortellini live action would be quite interesting. I know Ben 10 got one, or two, or three, I don't know, <laughs> but imagine Johnny Tortellini getting a live action movie, and just like, seeing that, right? <laughs> I feel like they could not get a ha the hair good though, I feel like they'd have to go with something more simple, I'd have to say, <laughs> but yeah. Can't wait when you make uh, I Won't Back It Down into an AMV, I hope you have no problem figuring out how this uh, could work out. Uh, thank you. Yes, it won't take as long like nine months again because <laughs> I looked back and I was like, wow, it's been nine months and I still haven't really had time. <laughs> yeah, the problem is just finding the time to make AMVs. They are not actually time consuming. They are not, but I have a insane work life, <laughs> uh, which is hard to deal with while also having online work such as this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they are not too long to make. I haven't listened to the song either, but I have to say only um, My Best Friend, and I'm pretty sure there was one other song that I had trouble with. Every other song I had a piece of cake with. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'd say just two songs I've had. Oh, it was, what was it? Lego Ninjago, the movie. Um, what was that song? It was like at the beginning of that movie too. What, what is that? What is the name? Uh, does anyone know it? Is the, it was near the beginning of the Lego Ninjago movie. What was it called? Oh my god. What was it called? <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but that that was the other one that I had trouble with. Chris Pratt as Johnny Test? <laughs> My man Chris Pratt is really expanding on his characters. <laughs> Moves from Mario to then Garfield to now my boy Johnny Tortellini. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's going places. <laughs> you did a good job with I Wanna Lose Control from Open Season? Well, thank you. I had a lot of fun doing that because I haven't made an AMV for a really long time. So just, I was a little nervous to actually get back into it. Like, do. Do I still have the mojo? Do I still have what it takes? Like way back in like 2018 when I was like doing it all the time. <laughs> but I feel like personally I did an okay job for having not done it for quite a while. <laughs> I have to say my favorite one is the Legends Never Die one because it just... It, I specifically wanted it to incorporate all three takes of Johnny. All three takes and uh... It was, I feel like it was like the best. <laughs> well, if you count the uh, comic as well. But that's something else. <laughs> but I still include it anyways. In a really unique way, I'd have to say. But anyway, uh, let's move on to point number four of the stream. So we just talked about point number three, which happened to be an alleged that it will be airing on Cartoon Network in America. 
upon its release date in 2024. Now, we have one final point in this stream, and this one is out of all four, I am the personally the most excited for. I am very, very excited for this, this last point, which is why I saved it for last. Not only because it was the latest news, but I was also the most excited for it. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys will be excited for it too if you've never heard it before. Now allow me uh, one minute to unpin this and pin point number four. Alright, unpin that. Unlike point number three, point number four actually has solidity to it. And uh, some actual news article. <laughs> Alright, point... Four. There we go. Now I pin that in the chat. There we go. Now this is the final point of the news portion of this stream, and I am the most excited to see this. I am extraordinarily excited, so I'll give you guys a second to click that link. The new link, I mean. Point number four, pinned now in the chat. Click it now! <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Now, hold your horses because you're first gonna need a saddle and a seatbelt because you're probably, if you're a huge Totally, totally Spies fan, and your horse is a huge Totally Spies fan, the horse is probably gonna kick you off like out of excitement, you know? So you might wanna grab a seatbelt. A Totally Spies big video game is in the works a video game is in the works now of course we've had video games before we had like DS games we've had a Wii game a few Wii games I think but I have one actually I actually have one uh, Wii game that I want to show you guys I have the totally party one right here I have not played it for years though <laughs> So I do own one video game. <laughs> I own one of them. Soon I will own two. Next year, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever this new game is coming out. So I have Totally Party for the Wii. <laughs> Alright, let's put that away. And let's get back to the news portion. You know what I am supposed to talk about. <laughs> anyway, yes, a new video game for Totally Spies is confirmed. This is something I never would have expected. So there's a lot of good things coming from Season 7, one including a brand new video game. So who is developing this video game? It is a developer company called Microids. Microids has a partnership with Banjay. And they're going to be taking Totally Spies and putting them into a video game. And I am so excited for that. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. Um, it will be releasing in 2024. Just like the series, which was delayed from 2023 to 2024. Uh, the whole season was delayed. I made a video about that, but it is gone. <laughs> Who do we blame for that? <laughs> Zodiac, because they didn't appreciate me reporting that news. <laughs> I totally exposed them. Um, but with that in mind, I also reported that they are working on a webcomic and audiobooks. Maybe they didn't like me talking about that? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's something to look forward to in 2024, this uh, upcoming year as well. Now, with that in mind... I don't know when all of this new and other content, apart from the season, will come out. Um, will, like what will come out first, the webcomic, the audiobooks, or the video game? Now if I were to guess, I would guess the video game is coming out last. Also after the season comes out too. I would think audiobooks would come first, then the webcomic too. Then the season, then the video game. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Uh, Blue Anderson's uh, sorry Blue Anderson says wow. I never would have expected that me neither. That is wild like it is From from my speculation, which I will be showing in a moment here um, 
I think this game is going to be pretty big. It's going to be pretty substantial. Uh, and a webcomic, yes, that is true. Um, a web a webcomic is in the works. Yeah, again, I talked about it in a video, but Zodiac removes that video. <laughs> it was just too much. <laughs> too much <laughs> to handle. Um, I don't remember. Do we have any uh, information about the webcomic like story? I don't think so. But we were discussing, like, <laughs> what will this webcomic possess? I was thinking uh, a unique story, but yeah. We don't have any confirmation of what the webcomic will be of. We just know that there will be a webcomic. <laughs> Imagine that with Johnny Test. That would be interesting, too. We did get one comic book for Johnny Test. Uh, it was also available in, pay uh, like, physical in physical copy which I do want to get because that would be really awesome just to have <laughs> but yeah uh, if anyone didn't know Johnny Test does have a comic I actually did a series on it a three-part series reading the comic it's called Johnny Test the once and future Johnny so if you look that up on YouTube you'll probably find find my videos on it and there's a playlist with all that so yes <laughs> Alba says I'm here now welcome welcome um, we are doing a totally spies news stream because I cannot make videos anymore Zodiac does not like it. <laughs> they only left up two out of uh, two, five. I think I did five news videos. They removed three and left me with two. <laughs> so I'm going to do live streams once in a while when there's a bunch of news to discuss. In this, po in this point in time, there was four news, to four news topics to discuss of Totally Spies. And uh, I think that's enough for a stream. Like, if, I, if there's, like, one news thing, that's probably not enough for a stream. <laughs> like, a video, yes, but I can't make videos anymore. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, there's four points. We uh, already went, went through three of the points, and we're on the last one, which is a video game. They're making a video game. Uh, Blue Anderson says, I remember seeing your videos about that. Oh, you, wow, thank you so much for watching them. Man, they were absolute blast, too, because I was very... The only thing I didn't like was, like... I couldn't see that, like, it It was on the screen, and <laughs> the words were small, so I had, I was making a lot of errors, because, like, I had to be in the camera, I couldn't be like this, <laughs> and I couldn't zoom in, because the screen, <laughs> I don't know, that's the only thing I didn't like, but that was also my first reaction to seeing the comic, too, so, yeah, that was really fun, <laughs> and I remember I forgot about posting part three for a really really long time <laughs> uh alba says sucks all the incarnations of ben 10 except for the original slash classics uh and the reboot because zal that zalsvac ruined at least the hbo max is now becoming max so is cartoon network classic shows two hmm that's a good question that is a good question Will they be like that in the future? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've seen what, what Cartoon Network does to their shows, so <laughs> no one should be surprised. <laughs> um, anyway, regarding the Totally Spies video game, where can we find it? Well, I don't think anything specific was mentioned other than it will be releasing on consoles and the PC. Um, I mean, we can assume what consoles it'll be on, like, probably, uh, PlayStation 5, I think that, that thing is, um, other new stuff, like, it very well may land itself on the Nintendo Switch, not 100% sure about that, but there's a chance, and probably some older generation consoles as well. And it was also mentioned for PC, as mentioned, so we have Steam, and a likely chance for the Epic Games platform as well. But, yeah. Uh, nothing, no specific names were mentioned, no Xbox was mentioned, no Nintendo was mentioned, no Steam, no Epic Games were mentioned at all. Uh, it was only mentioned consoles and PC. That's it. So, um, as soon as some names drop, like specifically Steam's name is in there, then uh, we're going to have some more solidity to discuss. Maybe the Switch? Yes, I am thinking, I am actually thinking that there's a good chance it will be on the Switch. If they could put sec Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach on the Switch, they're probably putting this on the Switch, right? <laughs> and I think this will be a more simple game than Security Breach. Like, 
I mean, in terms of running. I think this will be an easier game to run. <laughs> um, now, there was a brief description of this game. No storyline or anything. But it mentions that this game will off offer players the opportunity to step into the boots of the three legendary secret agents of Whoop. And we all know who they are. And together they must try and save the world from a new enemy. Now, here's something that I did want to say. This description of the video game mentioned a new enemy. Will this new enemy be confirmed as well? Having, having this new enemy be confirmed for this video game, does that mean there's going to be a new enemy or new enemies in Season 7? Now, we already know there's going to be new bad, bad, bad guys in Season 7. But specifically in this video game, they mentioned a new enemy, as in singular, which means they're not going to make a video game over the most simple bad guy of the show. <sighs> Who would that be? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, what's her name, Helen? I feel like she's probably the most simple, or one of the most simple ones. <laughs> um, so obviously, they wouldn't make a video game over a mid or lower tier bad guy. It has to be something huge to have a video game adapted into it. So I'm thinking this is confirming that there's going to be an overarching new bad guy for Season 7. I had a theory over who's going to take over Whoop World. I think Whoop World is a virtual reality thing. That's what I think. And it could be a training facility too? I don't know. But it seems very important. I feel like this new enemy is going to be hacking into Whoop World. And that's where all the stuff happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, the description of the video game further says there's going to be a bunch of thrilling missions and innovative game mechanics. Which I like. There's going to be a story and missions. <laughs> a lot of missions. <laughs> and innovative game mechanics. Now, we don't know the specifics of the game mechanics. Obviously, we can run and jump. <laughs> and you'll see why. Because I am 100% certain this is going to be a 3D game. And I can show you guys why in a moment. <laughs> um, and why, I th my, why, according to my speculations, I am very, very confident in this being a 3D game. Uh, but yes, I'm hoping to see a bunch of really cool animations like... You know, you know, like ninja jumps and all that stuff, like, uh, really, really, I don't know, like, super fluid ninja-like stuff, you know, <laughs> and spy-like stuff too, you know, very smooth, I have to say, like, I want to see, I'm really interested in seeing that. Um, Chi Chi Chelsea says, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're doing some Totally Spies news because I am not allowed to make videos about Totally Spies anymore. <laughs> You can thank Zodiac for that. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, we are discussing the latest news. There are four points which I was discussing throughout the stream, and we are on point number four, which is a brand new video game. So um, if you haven't heard of any other news, make sure you re rewind throughout the stream to uh, get some get caught up with that. Uh, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, we are talking about point number four at the moment. Albot says that's not all Adult Swim is now. Uh, they have a new time slot on 7 o'clock p.m. to 6 p.m. Or maybe a.m.? I don't know. Uh, also ruins Cartoon Network's reputation and Warner Brothers Discovery's company budgeting issue. In this rate, David Zal... Zal... Sav? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to pronounce it. Uh, ruined... Uh, and removed all 36 titles, like Infinity Train, Mau Mau, uh, Uncle Grandpa, Yubba Dubba Dinosaurs, <laughs> I, I think I remember that, and more, not to mention Warner Brothers cancelled, I've heard that back rule, but I didn't hear they cancelled Scoob 2, or an announcement of Scoob 2. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's interesting that they did cancel a lot of stuff. One thing I'm happy that they didn't cancel, though, is that uh, Family Matters 
uh, Christmas animated Christmas special. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but I think they moved it to a, uh, Cartoon Network specifically to work on it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I'm I, I'm actually looking very very forward to that. Uh, it's called. Did I do that to the holidays? A Steve Urkel story, I think it's called. No, not Mau Mau. <laughs> Warner Brothers Discovery is out of over Wasteland since last year. Oh man, I remember because everyone was talking about all this stuff. Like, uh, especially when Batgirl was uh, cancelled. There was a lot of uh, uproar <laughs> when that came out. And yeah, not to mention, even before that, it was just looking like a big mess. And just, you know, more and more downhill stuff, you know? Warner Brothers Apocalypse, probably. 3D platformer, yeah, back to the news. <laughs> um, it will very likely be a 3D platformer, and I will, again, I will show you guys why I am very confident in saying it will be 3D, and again, a, probably a platformer as well. <laughs> uh, Chi Chi says, thanks for some more news. Will be, uh, will there be a new video game of Totally Spies? Yes, there will be, yeah. This is point number four. Um, in the pinned comment in the chat, there will be, um, well, <laughs> Right now is point number four. That'll take that'll take you to an article that'll talk about the uh, video game. And throughout the points, I was linking to what I was talking about, just so you guys know, like I'm not lying. <laughs> There's some solidity to the th information that I'm just talking about, and I'm not just you know lying just to make up like oh totally spies news. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's an uh, that's an article. And uh, yeah, we talked about who's making it, when it's coming out. Uh, what it'll be on, so, you know, quick run over, developer is Mike, o Mike, Mike Roids, <laughs> um, it'll be on consoles and PC, and it'll be coming out in 2024, so, yeah, really fun. Um, is that all about the video game? Offer the community a game that meets its expectations. You know, what, I do want to ask you guys, um, in a minute, like, what are your expectations for this game? Because I wanted to talk about the, like, I really want to talk about the video game <laughs> so much. <laughs> uh, but. Oh, you know what? This is pretty interesting. Here's a quote from the director, Anik Bizitz of Banjay Kids and Family, I guess. <laughs> Here's a quote. We are seeing great momentum building for the Totally Spies brand ahead of the much anticipated return of the next series or the, of the series next year. So that's pretty interesting to read. Expertise and passion for the world of video games make it perfect partner to recreate the universe, authentic capitating game for our fans. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all the news for the game, other than speculation, which I have, which I will show you guys uh, in a moment. <laughs> Blue Anderson says, excited for Totally Spies and Gumball Season 7. I did hear that's coming back, actually. I kind of hope that doesn't, like, the style of Gumball doesn't change, because I think it's very interesting and be quite, I feel like it'd be in the wrong direction to, you know, differ from their... Already, the style that they already have. Uh, Albot says, I wish David Zalsav was fired because of for for what he done to Warner Brothers Discovery merch. <laughs> Nobody likes the merge. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I feel like he should get fired as well. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? All right. Here is my speculation of Whoop World's video game. Uh, wrong button. This one. Now, I'm going to be putting four images on the screen. I put four images on screen in a moment. I gotta find them. <laughs> in one mode. I need to find them. I don't know about Gumball. Probably, maybe, cancelled too? Oh, do you think it's cancelled? Oh, man. I feel, I feel like a lot of people were very excited for that, so... Not that I'm like a huge fan of Gumball, um, I feel like uh, a lot of fans would actually very, very much like having it back. It's season three art style. Yeah, it's probably gonna go with probably the, one of the latest art styles for Gumball. Anyway, 
the developers, Microroids, um, the developers of the upcoming Totally Spies game next year, here is something they've worked on, and probably coming out sometime <laughs> this year. They developed an Inspector Gadget game. As we know, Inspector Gadget is also a cartoon. So, my speculation gathers, having both of these franchises, Inspector Gadget and Totally Spies, they're both a cartoon. I have a good feeling that the way they're making this Inspector Gadget game, the way they're going to have this Inspector Gadget game be looking like, is going to be very, very similar to how the Totally Spies video game will play and look like. So here are four images of the Inspector Gadget video game. And what I'm about to show you is very well how the Totally Spies video game will look like. So I'm going to start putting them on screen. There's one. I'm going to have to shrink them down. Okay, so we got that one. Could you imagine seeing Sam, Clover, and Alex in this this style? Like, that looks awesome. It looks absolutely awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's bring up the second image as well. In a moment. In a moment. Inspector Nuts. <laughs> the Squirrel. Who's that? <laughs> Maybe Cartoon Network should bring back Miguzi for hashtag nostalgia. I've never heard of that. Miguzi? <laughs> Miguzi. Uh, where is the next one? Here it is. So this looks like some gameplay. Not a gameplay, but like an image. <laughs> of what the gameplay could look like. I'm gonna shrink that down. There we are. There we are. So here we are. Now this is some uh, gameplay screenshot of Inspector Gadget, the video game. So there is a good chance we might find a mini-map on the Totally Spies video game. And some icons that I don't know what they do. Again, this isn't confirmation of like what the HUD will look like. <laughs> it's just like, you know, comparing two cartoon video games, or sorry, series, putting them into a, a video game. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna, in this style of the way this looks, we have a, a, a treat <laughs> as a video game. Because this is gonna look good. Very good. Um, I'm going to put up the third image of this Inspector Gadget uh, video game, which happens to be this one. So this is a little closer up of the characters. Again, this is what I'm thinking the, the spies are going to look like. You know, they're going to be in this style. You know, something like that. Same like shading and, you know, all that stuff. Models. Yeah, I'm very certain that this is what the the video game is gonna look like. I don't watch the Inspector get Ga uh, Inspector Gadget, but I do wa or have watched the 2015 reboot. Oh, you haven't seen the original, huh? Okay, well in this case, I'm pretty sure this is based on the 2015 reboot. I don't know. <laughs> I actually haven't seen either show for a really long time, so I don't remember which style is you know more specific to e either to you know either one. But, either way, I do know <laughs> what Inspector Gadget is, and, uh, that's what I know. <laughs> uh, Blue Anderson says, reminds me of Yokai Watch 4, and a bit of The Simpsons Hit and Run. I love The Simpsons Hit and Run. <laughs> that's the one I want to be, re that, well, I want to see remastered, because that was so fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like you could be onto something with that, too. Oh, you know what? Now that you mentioned Hit and Run, I wonder if there's going to be driving in this video game. Because we know that they have cars and, you know, helicopters. <laughs> so, I'm pretty curious. Will, be, will we be able to drive? I did mention, like, you know, some cool mechanics so in the game. So maybe driving will be one. I'm very excited for that game. And one more uh, image that is available for the Inspector Gadgets video game is the following which I will put up on screen right here it is another gameplay screenshot <laughs> look at that goof <laughs> running 
<laughs> running around. All right, there we are. That is our last image of the Inspector Gadgets video game to compare to. Like, do you guys think the background will look similar to the totally upcoming Totally Spies video game? I'm, I'm you know, regarding the background, I'm, I'm very like on board and off board because I feel like this game, Inspector Gadget game, is gonna have a lot more. Um, comic book insp inspired background styles and I don't think that would translate well with Totally Spies so I think if my theory and speculation is correct they're probably going to change the background uh, style or art having come the Totally Spies video game but I feel like the models and the modeling and shading of said models will be very very similar to each other but yeah man and plus, 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 knowing that micro, micro, microids <laughs> can make a game like this, open, semi open world, 3D, I'm guessing some sort of platforming, there is a very, very, very good chance of the Totally Spies video game being like that as well. A very good chance. Plus, they might have shadows when they run. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting, right? <laughs> um, Albot says, "What if the world? What if the world would be like with thousands of Dakota clones from Total Drama? Chris might been handle uh, might been handle of all the Dakotas. <laughs> uh, didn't I?" Th Dakota wanted to want to kill him. She didn't like him after that. <laughs> so he'd be in quite a bit of trouble. He'd need to get some bodyguards. What's up, Vanny Pat? Welcome to the stream. Says his heelys got rendered without looking cursed. <laughs> Can we zoom on into his heels? His heelys. <laughs> go, go, gadget heels. Look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. <laughs> Look at that head. <laughs> what a handsome man. Guys, do you think we can make a meme out of this? Like this specific image? Can we make a meme out of this? <laughs> Some kind of running meme? That's as big as I can make it. <laughs> I don't know, can we zo like, zo zoom in super, super much? <laughs> and make some kind of a meme? I don't know. I have no idea. I only know it could be, it could be funny. <laughs> Four tickets to the FNAF movie. Do 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 do. Is her name Peggy? I don't remember. <laughs> go go Peggy. Get him. <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> anyway, what are your thoughts on Sissy Blakely? Uh, I love it. She's a great character. I I do wish there was like I it, out of every girl love interest of Johnny. I feel like I wish he got together with her. <laughs> out of all four or five, I think we got Janet, Sissy, J uh, Jillian, Claire, and Joni. I mean, you can c consider Sally, yes or no. I mean, I I'd go either way, but if we're gonna go core five. Out of those five, I would go with uh, Sissy. And yeah, I just think she's a great character, too. Inspector Nuts running is cursed. <laughs> is that a, like a, is that actually a meme? Inspector Nuts. S Inspector. Well, I had a... I have a bookmarked article about Inspector Gadget reboot on Teletoon. Wow. How long ago was that? Maybe I bookmarked that because there was something about Johnny Tess in there. <laughs> the original season seven, like the original one. <laughs> anyway, it's not a meme. I made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I might be doing girls versus aliens crossover with Ben 10 original or classic. 
Ooh, that sounds fun because they have a similar concept too. So it would work very well too with each other. Four tickets to the Scary Squirrel movie. Oh, Blue Anderson, you take me with you, right? You're gonna take me with you? <laughs> I want to see the Scary Squirrel movie. <laughs> is that a thing? Because if it is, I've never heard of it. But that I'd love to see it come back in a movie. You know, Balsa City is under attack <laughs> from whatever. I think we're done with those images. <laughs> I mean, who does it? We, I mean, let's look at those images again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's all for the Totally Spies news. So now we can talk about stuff and Totally Spies. And the news of Totally Spies. And the video game for Totally Spies. And other stuff. <laughs> Just stuff. You guys like stuff, right? Stuff is cool. <laughs> stuff is cool. Four tickets to the FNAF movie. Four tickets to the Scary Squirrel movie. <laughs> Terry Gurren. You here? <laughs> uh, Tara, Tara Strong as Ben 10. Kevin Michael Richardson as Forearms slash Diamond Head. Ian Hanlon as Heat Blast. Kevin Dun Dunhaney as XLR8. And probably there's going to be a new alien coming soon. <laughs> Hey, sounds good. Blue Anderson says, Oh man, I remember watching the Scared Squirrel TV show. Yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> uh, I love... I, I used to love that show so much. I was actually re-watching an episode recently. I forget which one though. It wasn't recently. I think it was like early last month. But <laughs> it was... It's such a good... It's a good one. I think it was the one where him and Patty were fighting over that golden uh, paddle ball. Like, it was the last one in... It wasn't even in stock of uh, at the store. It was, like, the display model. And when they finally battled over and won, who, someone won it. <laughs> and then they were like... They tested it. It didn't work. And they were like, eh, you can have it. <laughs> and he's like, the other one was like, I don't want it. <laughs> they just threw it away. <laughs> I that was like the latest episode I saw. <laughs> and then there's Dave. What a... What a character. <laughs> and then Nestor. <laughs> he's such a... He's such a silly guy. <laughs> that, that episode was funny. They were doing all these... Quick jobs to get money. <laughs> Penny for my thoughts? Penny for my thoughts? <laughs> You know what? I gotta agree, uh, Blue Anderson. Dave is just Dave. He's just Dave. <laughs> he's his own... He's his own skunk. <laughs> Nestor was a meme at my old s summer camp. <laughs> Yo, that would be... That's so funny. Like, if... <laughs> so... <laughs> were, you, were you, like, making a meme of, like, a counselor there at the summer camp? Like, that... That guy is such a nester. <laughs> and everyone else knew Scary Squirrel too. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Well, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Squawk! And then there's Mr. Nestor's mama, and then Mr. Nestor's mother's mama. <laughs> I love the titles that uh, Scary gives his family and stuff. They just escalate from the last one. <laughs> And you wouldn't expect Mr. Nestor's mother's mama to be so extreme. <laughs> but hey, she is. She is quite extreme. Alba says, what if, what if the world would be like with thousands of Izzy, Courtney, Gwen, Heather, Zoe, Lindsay, and Sierra? <laughs> hmm. I can think of a, about a, all the total drama girls being cloned. <laughs> Could you imagine all of them talking at the same time? Like the beginning of uh, the Lost Web series? <laughs> They're all talking about stuff at the same time? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Blue Anderson says, It would also, or it was also the same summer camp where I dressed as an as Oscar from Summer Camp Island? Because there was... A Halloween event. Okay, that explains it. Uh, there was a Halloween event, even though it was August. <laughs> what the hey? That reminds me of a Johnny Test episode. Here's Johnny. 
If anyone knows that episode, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the the non-holiday affiliated ha uh, Halloween costume uh, contest. That's the word. <laughs> uh, isn't it weird? It's, it's kind of funny when they do like holiday appropriated things not in the appropriate time. <laughs> I feel like Halloween's one where is that one's very common to not happen in uh, o October. <laughs> like, just little events here and there. Especially when you put the world of cosplay in there. Like, could that be considered one too? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is technically dressing up, but it's only half of it because you're not going around uh, trick-or-treating and forcing people to relinquish their candy <laughs> relinquish your candy <laughs> they don't do that did anyone ever do that <laughs> give us all your candy or suffer the consequences <laughs> blue anderson says i remember the episode where johnny made up a holiday because there was a gap in the year r slash brand new sentence where you get or i guess can get free candy yeah that's kids get free candy day from johnny hollywood <laughs> yeah he was trying to make a bunch of uh schemes to get that holiday to work <laughs> what was it like the candy roo dead presidents a bunch of stuff <laughs> And a candy ninja. Albot says, do you know Zero? She's a girl in yellow and she's chill and cool. And she was voiced by Jor Jordan Todose from the episode of Girls vs. Aliens. Control Surge. Zero. In yellow. Um, I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't think I know any. I mean, I know a char I know a few characters named Zero. I think isn't there a guy in? Uh, is it what 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 game is it? Is it Mega Man? I, th or, I don't know. <laughs> There's this older game, maybe in the Mega Man era, where there was a character named Zero. I think he had a sword. He was dressed in some black armor. I think, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's some anime girl named Zero too. Uh, long pink hair, devil horns, dressed in red. Those are, I think those are the only zeros I know. <laughs> From Darling in the Franch. In the Franch. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Vaney Pat says, is, is Werewolf Johnny just Furry Johnny confirmed? Hmm. <laughs> I need to go in that, like, uh, that, uh, famous statue of the guy, like, kneeling and thinking. <laughs> I should make memes of that. Just like grab a photo of that and just like <laughs> put something like that. <laughs> hmm. I guess it would depend the context too, right? Because <laughs> how that happened was Susan and Mary was like, they just waltzed into his room and they were like, here, drink this. And then he was like, okay. And then he drank it. And he was like, should have probably asked what that was before I chugged it. <laughs> and then he turned into a werewolf. <laughs> and originally that formula was to help Hugh grow his hair because he was midlife crisising. <laughs> that was a funny episode. <laughs> that was quite the funny episode. Alva says, maybe you could draw Sissy Janet Nelson Jr. Joni West Claire Nefarious and Janet wearing Girls vs. Alien superhero counterpart outfits. <laughs> maybe. I did actually draw Janet recently. I'm going to be putting in a YouTube short format, though. You know how fast that footage is? <laughs> it is so fast. <laughs> it is so fast. <laughs> And I put some Iron Man thing with it. Music. It was soy sauce. <laughs> what was soy sauce? <laughs> soy sauce is good. 
Does anyone think, ever have that thought where you, you think you could just drink soy sauce, like, plainly? Because I've had that thought before, but I've never done it. <laughs> I've had that thought, but I've never done it. <laughs> Has anyone else, is it, or is it just me? <laughs> or is it like that question I asked in YouTube poll, like, how do you eat pizza? <laughs> like, normal? Like a freak? With, uh... Uh, fork and knife. <laughs> uh, honestly, I I clicked the like a freak <laughs> uh, option because that's how I eat it most of the time. <laughs> uh, uh, Blue Anderson says the only Jillian I know is from Myra and Jillian, a series I'm working on. Oh, that's the only Jillian you know of, eh? Myra and Jillian. Jillian Vegan, yeah. Uh, so Jillian Vegan is a Johnny Tess character, and she's an alien that came from another planet, and she lives on Earth now, and she is one of Johnny's friends slash love interests. And uh, yeah, she's a princess too. Princess of the planet she came from. Yeah, a <laughs> second ago. Second ago. <laughs> you know, s similar to what you said, Blue Anderson, um, <laughs> the only Myra I know is from Family Matters. Myra Monkhouse. <laughs> uh, so it's about a young adult, Myra, who is stuck with her annoying 12 year old cousin, Jillian. Ah, oh, so that's like nothing like the Johnny Test Jillian, I gotta say. <laughs> In that case, because Jillian's like the only child, and she's like a she's older than Johnny too. She's a teenager, so it's about young adult Myra who is stuck with her annoying twelve-year-old cousin Jillian. That's an interesting concept, I gotta say. Uh, Magnus Knight Studios says I don't ever recall her in the Netflix series, especially since her dad's in the series. That's true. We all wish that we would have saw Jillian in there. I feel like Sissy was probably the most wanted to see in the 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 Netflix revival, but I feel like Jillian was a close one too, like a close second too. Mm, you know, I feel like Bumper might have been a second actually. Yeah, I think Jillian would have to be like a third place of like of what the community wanted to see in the Netflix uh, seasons as well. <laughs> Man, I, I wish at least once, at least once, we could have saw, like, a few of the older characters that didn't make it into the revival. I wish, you you guys know the list of what, who I'm talking about. <laughs> I wish we at least saw one, one moment with them in there. Even one appearance, I wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> Vanny Pass says, I just plainly took some soy sauce from a packet once. It was, well, interesting. <laughs> was it, like, strong? Was it strong, or was it, like, just how you'd expect it? <laughs> Let me know. Because <laughs> I've always, like, wanted to try <laughs> doing something like that. <laughs> but I never did. I do, if I were to guess, I feel like it would taste very strong, though. Strong and salty, I might think. But yeah, it is true, her dad's in the uh, series. Just her and her mom and her planet <laughs> isn't in the Netflix revival. Alba says, what's your thoughts on Pauline from Atomic Puppet? I know Atomic Puppet, but I don't know any characters from it. <laughs> I know the main guy has like like a huge you know, tree trunk-like hair, I think. And he has a super suit and he has, he has a blue puppet. But I... <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up this character. If we're having any tropes from this stream, <laughs> the only Pauline I know is from Mario. <laughs> Mario. Alright, let's see. Here she is. Whoa, what the hell? That's a lot of colored hair. Or maybe that's like concept. Yeah, that might be concept art <laughs> I'm looking at with blue hair. And it looks like the pink hair is the one that they ended up going with in the long run. She looks like a rebel. 
Kind of reminds you of like a, a rebel version of Princess uh, Bubblegum. <laughs> From Adventure Time, of course. I like the jacket though. The the uh, jean jacket, I've got to say. La jean jacket. Oh man, the French. <laughs> totally Spies is going to be in French. And English. English. Some other characters are missing as well. That's true, yeah. You know, I I feel like I should have made a video. I'm really disappointed in myself that I didn't make like the revival videos yet. Any Many revival videos yet. I am very, very much straggling behind. But one video I can make is like every character that wasn't shown in the revival. I could do that because that seems pretty fast to do. <laughs> like I still haven't done like top 10 callbacks in specifically season 8 because I've done top 10 callbacks in season 7 but not 8 and I still haven't done it <laughs> which I have to uh, it's just like the time I don't have enough to do everything I need to do <laughs> if I did I'd have that video and many other revival videos done by now and you guys would have seen them all <laughs> but like it's just like working on everything at once because like at every moment in my life i am working on like over seven videos at once i have to say <laughs> whether it be writing uh process of filming editing blah 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 like <laughs> rarely and also there's planning there's planning videos too <laughs> rarely is there a time i'm not working on seven things at once <laughs> Even now, for instance. <laughs> hey, man. That's life for ya. Also, what's your thoughts on Shope from Super Noobs? Um, I am actually going to start watching Super Noobs. Um, because I'm seeing episodes Wildbrain are posting. And I'm assuming there are episode 1 and onward. So, I do want to try to, like watch this show from Scott that I've never seen and just see what I think of it. Then I can make a video like, so I watched Scott's other show, <laughs> so you didn't have to. <laughs> uh, so, um, from what I've seen, I've seen a little bit of Super Noobs from Wild Brain TV on TV. Um, I think she's a good addition to the cast, being like the girl of the cast. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know too much about her. Uh, so far, I do like all the characters, though. The main characters. <laughs> uh, Blue Anderson says, I remember her appearing in the sleepover episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a sleep sleepover at Johnny's. <laughs> that one was, like, a really good one, I've got to say. It really does, like, a lot of adult jokes, so... <laughs> It'll have that if you're, like... Wanting to see adult jokes in the show. I should also do a video like every adult joke in Johnny Test. <laughs> Again, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've seen this somewhere before. <laughs> a Johnny quote. <laughs> what about Roach? Oh man, Roach. I, one of the previous streams, I, I was trying to remember like the, the orange guy. Like, what is his name? It, it was on the tip of my tongue. But I couldn't remember what his name was. And then everyone in chat was like, It's Roach! <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, it's Roach! <laughs> right. Because I knew he had like a silly or weird name. Like Cockroach. And his name's Roach. <laughs> and that happens to be the case. From a packet, it was pretty strong. Wow, okay. I wonder what soy sauce would be like from uh, what it usually comes in. Like the whatever it traditionally comes in, I don't know, jar or bottle, I guess bottle, I wouldn't, but yeah, I would imagine that would be pretty, uh, strong and salty, salty, <laughs> uh, Blue Anderson says, I think I'll upload a Myra and Jillian comic on my channel tomorrow, I am a terrible drawer even though I am almost an adult, I could do it digitally, but I'm too lazy to, <laughs> you know, uh, if anyone knows anything about me, I I draw too. I used to do traditional, and then in 20, 
2021? Maybe 2021, I guess? I don't remember. I started to do digital stuff with like a drawing tablet and all that. Um, in the early days of, you know, my traditional lifestyle, <laughs> I always thought that digital was just so easy, so much faster than traditional. But then come 2021, when I started with this digital stuff, I found out that it is actually the opposite. <laughs> digital is a lot more time consuming than uh, traditional. I would never have thought that way unless I experienced both personally. <laughs> so I'm, I'm fairly certain in saying that di digital is a lot more time consuming, but with some regards, with some regards, there are some aspects where traditional will take longer than digital, and there's also some, uh, whoa, camera, <laughs> whoa, all right, well, <laughs> here we are, it's that time of the day where the camera decides to stop working, <laughs> don't worry, it's a daily thing, it is a daily thing, now, I don't know if I can fix this like last time, I doubt it will fix, or I can have it fix itself without having to uh, close the stream, which I cannot do because it'll end the stream, so. I'm gonna unplug, plug back in. Not sure how the mic for a microphone is doing. Oh, it's using the camera microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? Alright. Microphone. Testing. One, two, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. There it goes. It works. Um... This is fun. This is great. Um. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Well, back to the old days of my uh, uh, stream. Uh, <laughs> back to streaming when I used to do it in 2020 and 2021 before I had a camera an actual camera why buy a camera if they don't work right why why would you do that well that didn't work <laughs> why would you buy a camera that doesn't work right why would you do that How do I put this on the thing? Uh, is it this? There we go. <laughs> there we go. So on a computer, you can type camera and it has its own camera. So as you can see, <laughs> if, you op if you're on a computer and you have the camera app, it'll open like this with all this stuff on the side <laughs> and there'll be this box following you wherever you go <laughs> so the camera app is what I used to use before I had a camera that doesn't work why did I pay money for this camera and it doesn't work <laughs> what was I thinking here's the thing they didn't they failed to put on the box that the camera doesn't work. They failed to put on the box. 
that the camera is faulty and it always will be <laughs> those morons don't they know <laughs> so throughout the stream when it inevitably happens we get classic camera from 2020 2021 with the box that moves i carry the box with me wherever i may go <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore. Ignore this. <laughs> anyway. That's just life. That's just life. It will screw me over every time I use it. <laughs> and I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. One day, I will get rid of it. <laughs> anyway. I forget what we we're talking about. <laughs> Albot says, Joni wishes she could have twin sisters in an alternate dimension. Susan and Mary would had Joni instead of Johnny in an alternate reality. Probably. <laughs> in an alternate reality where a lot of things were swapped. <laughs> They'd have their, the siblings would be all girls and in an alternate reality, the siblings would all be boys. What would happen? What would happen that Susan and Mary clone thousands of themselves? Uh, just watch the opening of uh, uh, the League of Johnnies, <laughs> and there would there, there that would be. There that would be. They will clone themselves so many times. See, <laughs> they would do that. Haha. <laughs> F camera. <clears throat> F. I don't know if I should need to buy a new one. I mean, it screws me over every time I use it. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Then what do I do with this one? <laughs> I can't sell it. Because it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't do its job. I can't sell it. <laughs> um, anyway. Blue Anderson says, What do I... What do I... Do? Or what What do I do, maybe, to make comics? Is it take post notes and draw comics on each panel and form into a comic like you can mix, mix and match them? What do I do to make a comic, maybe? Um, you see, that's where I'm not strong. I always wanted to see what comic is like making. And I have tried it before. And it is very hard. Because you have your panel. But you don't know how to draw every panel. Like, what do you show? trying to communicate a scene because there's a lot of important moments in communicating a scene you can look through animation where there's probably x core poses in the animation i feel like in comics you need to capture the x amount of core poses let's take uh a a wedding proposal because my man Trevor Deval just got married congratulations to my man so how many core poses in animation would a wedding proposal be there would be being at the place pose number two would be maybe kneeling with and then maybe three would be having the ring. And then four would be a shot of the girl. And then five would be yes or no. And then whatever comes after that. <laughs> like, I feel like you need to capture all of those things in making a comic. Like the core poses of the scene that you're trying to communicate. 
I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I my thing is I show too much. I show more than the small amount, like or the the lowest of the low amount of core poses you could show to communicate X scene. I would just show way too much, <laughs> and I don't know why. Plus, comics take a lot of time. And you need to be very, very dedicated and motivated to go through with it. Because I've started some and didn't go through with it. Because it was just way too much to handle. <laughs> for me. To do. Are we back? I think we're back. Yeah. I think we're... I think we're back. <laughs> uh, panels. Panels. Uh, <laughs> so you gotta make sure like your panels you have how are you formatting the panels because all the panels can be shaped differently and sized differently we're back okay thank you for the confirmation um, the panels make sure they're all eh, <laughs> I don't know like, I just know I, you really need to study the art of comics how to format them like, I, I'm not one to teach, you know? <laughs> I don't really want to teach, but I would recommend if you want to do this, co like, a bunch of comic stuff, uh, make sure you research and make sure you know what you're doing. Like, I, when I was trying to make a comics, I didn't research at all. I just thought, like, oh, this will be easy. I could do it. But no, there's too much to it for me, and I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, anyway, dibs on purple, Susan. Sussy Susan. <laughs> Sussy Susan. She's a sussy baka. <laughs> there was so many colored, like so many colors in that beginning portion. <laughs> I'm not talking, oh yeah, that's true. I'm not talking about Rockabye Johnny. Purple Susan of League of, uh, League of Johnny's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they both just turned uh, drastically purple. Side effects. Side effects. Uh, what do I... Why lag? Why lag? Why lag? We're, why lag? Are we back again? <laughs> Are we back again? Are we back again? Oh, we're back? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. But I want it to stop. <laughs> what I do? What I do, okay. So is it what I do, what do I do to make a comic? Is that it? What if pork belly would be like with all the females or girls without any men around? Didn't uh, Fairly Odd? No, they might have Fairly Odd Parents. I know Danny Phantom did something like that. I can't remember if Fairly Odd Parents did something like that. I the only thing I can remember is the Planet of Mom and the Planet of Dads, like two planets. <laughs> but I, I do know um I, I do know Danny Phantom did something like that. <laughs> hmm, but what would it be in a Johnny test format? No? Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, what's the what's the question then? <laughs> Cuz I'm 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 confused. I'm confused. What else had a concept like that? I can't remember if anything else did. Well, I know there has to be a lot of other stuff that probably would do something like that. Uh, for an episode, but I don't think I remember any other thing that would that has done that. I don't think so. Pork belly. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I, <laughs> you know what? I, although one thing I could think of is like Susan's quote of. Uh, <laughs> Maybe a woman would finally get a statue in this town. <laughs> I think that would come true. <laughs> Although technically it has come true. 
uh, later of said episode, Johnny Zombie Tea Party. <laughs> that, that happened. <laughs> so technically it would happen, or did happen. <laughs> Rockabye Johnny. Johnny. Did anyone know? Actually, I was talking about Trevor. Did anyone know that Trevor DeVal got married recently? Anyone keeping up on the uh, John <laughs> on the Johnny Test voice actor news? <laughs> the Johnny Test cast news? Because <laughs> I keep up with them dangerously close. I was there at his wedding. Way at the back. <laughs> I wasn't invited though. But I was there. Way at the back. <laughs> way, way at the back. What side was I on? I don't know. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> and then I came to the front and I was like, Hello, Mr. Deval. <laughs> You're my favorite talking dog. I love you so much. <laughs> that totally happened, too. It happened. <laughs> it didn't not happen because it happened. Do I have any proof? Yes, I do. <laughs> Because uh, I, I just need to open uh, Photoshop and quickly do something, and I will get back to you on the proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, all jokes aside, uh, congratulations to my band, T. Deval, <laughs> who will forever be half of a talking dog. <laughs> He'll be half of a talking dog. Wait, so is it now did Louis or Louis? I don't know how you pronounce his name. It's pron it's spelled Louis, but I feel like I've heard it pronounced Louis. So he's done four seasons. So did Trevor now do four as well? He did five, six, seven, and eight. Oh well, yeah, they're they're like perfectly equal <laughs> with how many seasons they've done. So they're like perfectly half <laughs> of Dookie. <laughs> That's funny. And then there's uh, web series Dookie. I said what do what I do. Oh, okay, I get it. I get you. What you do when you're making the comic? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't a question at all. <laughs> so what you do when you make comics is you take note, uh, uh, post-it notes. Oh, you're like storyboarding. Okay. You take post-it notes and draw comics on each panel and form it into a comic. Okay, I get it. I got you now. You know, I've also thought of like comic making like storyboarding and then, you know, having that in mind, I don't know how to separate them. <laughs> I don't know how to differ, differ them from each other because like if I were to make a comic, I'd look at it like both ways like both A, making a comic, and B, storyboarding. <laughs> like, I'm just a mess when I'm making it, like a, a comic type thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Because <laughs> they're supposed to be different. They're supposed to be. If I just mold it into one. Like an idiot. <laughs> like an idiot. I'm gonna go camera shopping. I was looking at one camera. I forget how much it costs though. <laughs> like when last stream this happened, I uh, looked it up. I bookmarked it, but I can find it. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Papa, Papa, look the hell. <laughs> Papa, look. Papa look 100 one one Papa look 1080p webcam with ring light and tripod PA 552 full HD streaming web camera with dual microphones plug and play USB webcam for PC Mac no comma Mac no comma laptop desktop now comma <laughs> Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, video conference. It's on sale? Oh my god. <laughs> it's on sale? 
it used to be $69.99. <laughs> Funny. But now it's $39.99 and $15.48 shipping. Should I do it? <laughs> Should I do it? It has 666 ratings. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Blue Anderson says the Johnny Test pretzel nose scene was. Uh, sorry. The Johnny Test pretzel nose scene from the Johnny Test web series was a fever dream. <laughs> hey, Johnny. I gift you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I'm going to turn that into a GIF and use it every day. <laughs> and I can say, I give that now. <laughs> Technically, we can all give that, but Tube is the first. <laughs> what if millions of Joni West clones got, got a crush on Johnny? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like he'd like that. <laughs> I feel like he'd like that very much. <laughs> yeah, same for j exactly the same for Sierra and Cody. I have to say, <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> Ex no, only one difference though. I feel like Cody wouldn't appreciate it or like it. I mean, <laughs> I feel like that would be the one thing, the one opposite. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy this camera because this is two streams in a row that this has happened, and I cannot have that continue. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that that camera in the trash. Cause it doesn't work. I mean I wish I could sell it, but I can't. It doesn't work. <laughs> eh. I shall get it when it's on. Oh it is on sale. <laughs> it's a big it looks like a big circle. My only concern though with this camera, which I don't feel like you can ever know unless you ask someone who has it. I want this camera to, like, it, it says this camera comes with a microphone. This camera comes with a microphone, too. What I want is this microphone to override this micro the camera microphone. <laughs> I want to make sure that that's a thing. Because I don't want to use the, the camera microphone, because who does? It's way over there. The microphone, the real microphone's over here. <laughs> I just always found that like a stupid idea. Why would? <laughs> I mean, sure, have that as a feature. But in this scenario, you need your microphone here. You can't have your camera with the microphone and use the microphone on the camera right here, because then the camera will look at your mouth. What the? <laughs> Gary takes a bath from Spongebob, but it's Johnny and Dookie. <laughs> that probably... <laughs> I'd actually like to see that. We've had, like, a version of that, but Johnny is Gary. <laughs> I will not be taking a bath today. <laughs> this man... You know, I'm not gonna lie. I was actually thinking of doing a poll of, like... <laughs> I don't know, some kind of a funny poll on YouTube, like... <laughs> How long does Johnny take until he takes his ne next bath? And then I put like, you know, X amount of time, then a bigger X amount of time, then a bigger X amount of time, then a bigger, bigger X amount of time, you know? <laughs> Let's read these customer questions and answers. Uh, question, how long is the cable? Answer, about five to six feet. Question, is this camera USB? That is my assumption, but want to make sure I really am looking forward to HDMI webcam to use the video mixer. This camera is for USB, an easy plug and play. I stream on Twitch, and the quality for the price is fantastic. There's no fit, no fish eye. Oh, really? My my camera right here is the fish eye. So I will I'll finally not have fish eye. Like if you guys go to like videos from. Uh, let's see, what is like the latest thing I could say? Uh, I don't know. Um, that one didn't have good.
stupid lighting. Like, <laughs> eight, let's go eight months ago. Eight months ago, seven months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight to seven, even before that, wow. Wow, okay. Ten, no, seven to ten months ago, any video with that uh, time in it, you'll you'll notice the fisheye on my camera. <laughs> you'll notice it. Like, you'll see the wall, like, straight behind me, and then it'll curve. Even though that wall is straight, the camera will make it look like it's curving, both, you know, like this, or like this, you know? <laughs> so that's called fisheye in the camera world. So if I buy this, which I probably will, <laughs> I will be rid of that. <laughs> Like even in my now er area, you'll it will sometimes look like that my shelf, my display shelf for the background, will be like you know, you know, slanted, <laughs> but it's not. Everything would fall. <laughs> so yeah, what if total drama would be like with all the girls, also no men around? Uh, let's see. I feel like it would lose a lot of its validity because a huge factor with the Total Drama franchise and community is the relationships between the guys and the girls. Uh, and that's actually a pretty substantial thing. So if there weren't to be any men as contestants, I feel like that would change quite a bit. Question. Will it work with Windows? Most likely will. Must buy. <laughs> will it be compatible with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5? I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't need to know. What are the computer requirements when using this? How much processor and RAM space does it use? Answer. Support OS Windows XP 7, 8, 10 or later. Chrome OSTM HD 1080p video recording 2.84 sorry 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core TM2 Duo 2 gigabytes RAM 1 gigabyte hard drive space USB 2.0 oh, sup uh, port port just port no support just port <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Things. I'm saying things, probably. Apple. Don't need to know. Height range for the tripod. Which is included. I could know that. Tripod is about six inches tall. Now I didn't know how tall six inches is. How big is six inches? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What item is six inches long? Tripod is about six inches tall, and you can clip the camera to almost anything to make it taller. It's, or I have attached to the monitor, and this works f well. Oh, like on the top of the screen? Okay, that makes sense. My tripod is like... This big. <laughs> I don't know how big s inches are. <laughs> but yeah, that's the current one. So I don't know how... I mean, I can probably look at the pictures again and get an idea. What would happen if the world would be like with no men around? Well, then I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. The biggest fan of Johnny Tess would not exist. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. Uh, does the ring... Does the light ring on this camera cause a ring reflection? <laughs> a ring reflection on glasses like a regular ring light does? Answer, yes. Hmm. I wear glasses. Carl says it does make reflections. Oh well. I can live with that. <laughs> but good to know. Question, does the, the camera work? I don't need to know. On Mac. Work on MacBook Pro. I don't need to know that. What did I learn? Uh, well, it will make a reflection on my glasses, probably. <laughs> uh, 
Let me look at that tripod. Tripod. Oh, there it is. I need it on a tripod because for anyone who does not know, my camera sits behind my monitor on a stack of DVDs. <laughs> it is st my camera, what you're looking through right now, is on a small tripod on a stack of DVDs to elevate it. <laughs> what what DVDs you may ask? <laughs> I don't know. A few. <laughs> so this camera will be a circle, whereas this one is like this shaped. It's like a rectangle with curves at the edges. It can go 360. My only also also I also I also have a concern, <laughs> not regarding the microphone, which was a main concern, but a second concern is, if I move that camera one tiny bit, it will disconnect. Like if I if I poke it, a nut, poke it from the side, it will disconnect. <laughs> will this one with this new one do it as well? <laughs> it's all like. You can move it all around 360. <laughs> I don't know. D but <laughs> I don't know. Will it disconnect? Cause this crap does. <laughs> anyway, play <laughs> instructions number one: place it on a PC monitor or a flat surface desktop. Adjust the clip to ensure film film fil firm placement. Number two: plug it into the USB 2.0 port and we can directly test it on Skype and Zoom or Zoom. Number three, we can touch the smart sensitive button to turn on the ring lighting. Ooh, oh, I like that idea. So the ring lighting isn't necessary, or not necessary, it isn't a permanent thing. Like when you plug it in, it'll glow a ring. So you can turn it on and off with a smart, smart sensitive. Does that mean it can watch me whenever? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It'll come with a cap. A c, c, c cap. I don't know. Probably not. I mean, it's round. There's nowhere to put it. Built in dual omnidirectional microphones. The pop a look. PA552 webcam has two upgraded noise canceling microphones in 2021, which can capture and filter background noise from all angles to provide clearer, purer, and more realistic sound. Our creative streaming content will get better attention from the audience. Why would you use, why the hell would you use a camera that comes on a microphone? What the hell? Why would you do that? It's over there. What are you telling me about it'll give you clearer, pure, more realistic sound when I'm talking from here and the camera plus microphone is way over here, over an arm length away. How dare they? I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to know that I can use a real microphone. Someone tell me that I can use a real microphone and not this uh, other thing that it has. Because I don't want to use it. It's way over there. And it, like you guys heard earlier when my camera glitched out, because that's part of its job to do. You saw how it sounded. Because <laughs> it disconnected and it. Well, no, no. I disconnected the microphone and you could hear how it sounded from a camera. I feel like that's how it sounds. And it sounds like crap. <laughs> it sounds like crap. <laughs> you know, I am babbling about microphones. <laughs> that's not entertaining. <laughs> I can babble about microphones on my own time. It's in stock. Oh my god. 
I deeply apologize for this unentertaining rant and banter over cameras and microphones. <laughs> that never should have happened. <laughs> I should have saved that for my own time. And talked about stuff. Johnny smells like crap. <laughs> Johnny, you smell like crap. Should I open uh, uh, Johnny Test Comedy Minute with that? <laughs> Like, just re redo bath time for Johnny and just make it into a one or two minute thing and just make it stupid funny. Johnny, you smell like crap. I know, Dad. <laughs> I make comedy minute episodes and then I wait like... <laughs> I wait two years or one or two years and make another episode. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You just look at the time in between, and it's just like that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know why. I have no idea why. But that's how it be. <laughs> Fast delivery? Wednesday, May 10? Uh... <laughs> Someone do the math, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days if I buy now? That's a small price to pay. <laughs> I'll do it. Now someone get a calculator. 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 Why aren't you opening my calculator? <laughs> Open my calculator. Thank you. Open it. Open it. 39 decimal. Do you use decimals? When you're compare when you're using dollars and cents. I don't think so. Although I am an idiot. So no, 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 no. You definitely do. Because <laughs> that turned into three thousand dollars. <laughs> uh decimal nine nine. Plus 15 duh, duh, decimal 48 $55.47 Okay, I can deal with that <laughs> I can deal with that I'm going to buy what's the limit you can buy 200 <laughs> Amazon Amazon <laughs> Scamazon Amazon you you got me once again. A Norma Zone. I'm gonna go to a Norma Zone. They have stuff. <laughs> they have stuff. <laughs> also, for anyone wondering, I do not own a Norma Zone. I don't. I am not Jorf Muskerberg, and I never have been. <laughs> I've never been Jorf Muskerberg, and I never will be. <laughs> so. <laughs> Stop saying I am Jorf Muskerberg because I'm not. <laughs> I am not Jorf Muskerberg. <laughs> and I never will be. Albot says you should do another Girls vs. Aliens reaction. Here's six episodes The Ultimate Weapon, Sleepless in Marin Hills. Boy, trouble, boy. <laughs> B O I. <laughs> boy. Uh, Just Desserts, Control Surge, and League of Monster Dominators. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I can do that. One Bougie Mashup says, Baby is back again. Or, I guess I'm, I'm back again. I will make more mashups again. What's up? <laughs> hey, that's good here. Welcome to the stream. We were talking about Totally Spies news earlier, and now we're just chilling out. <laughs> So yeah, anyone who's just tuning in um, wants to hear all the Totally Spies news uh, when the stream ends, make sure to rewatch the first little bit and you will get caught up with everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right now we're just chilling out. Chilling out, talking about stuff. <laughs> all the, the cartoons. 
Yo, no way, my camera can glitch through the camera? App? What? It never done that before. Alright, that's it. I'm buying this. <laughs> Throughout the past uh, few minutes, I was actually uh, <laughs> looking at a camera to buy because this camera that you were looking at a few seconds ago is complete garbage and it does not work. <laughs> so I am required to purchase a new one. <laughs> because as meant as you could see it stopped working a second time within the span of how long <laughs> uh, an, uh two hours <laughs> what the hey <laughs> right what the hey <laughs> okay so i remove it if i put it back will it work we're like regular. <laughs> Other one. Really? No? Really? Wow, okay. What? Error code? Close other apps. It looks like un as other app trying to use camera. What do you mean it's trying to use it? No, it's not. It's not even connecting to it. It's referring to my streaming software. <laughs> And it is not connecting to it. That is a vicious lie. <laughs> like a vicious lie. <laughs> I like this fuzz. It looks like the. Psh okay, I'm gonna fix something. So I'm going to have to disconnect my microphone for a brief moment. Bear with me. Here we go. Alright, testing one, two, three. Is the microphone connected at least? Hello, hello. Yep, yes it is. <laughs> now, having done that, if I do the same thing as such, let's try closing the camera app on the computer and opening it, opening it again. And there we go. It <laughs> it fixed itself. Now we just need to put it on uh, the screen as such. Doing doing it. Working on it. Doing it. Camera. There we go. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know what? I'm not even gonna crop. I'm not even gonna crop. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll crop it. <laughs> you win, I'll crop it. Get rid of the black bars. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it. Hey, my box is back. When I buy my new camera, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna need this box anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna need it. <laughs> uh Guys, when my camera comes, should I do a live stream? Like, a first live stream with it? Well, obviously, I'll do a live stream with it eventually. Because, like, this isn't going to be my last one ever. <laughs> like, should I... When I when I uh, get it... In 10, 5... What? 10 days, I think it's... I don't know. 7 days? Should I do it a live stream? Should I? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Uh, nice you picked the wrong day to stream because of school and my Wi-Fi turns on and off at 10 a.m. That sucks. <laughs> you know, I'm always very, very, very uh, cautious with streaming times. Because, like, before, within, like, this uh, first bit of 2023, I would I decided that, like, okay, I'll only stream on the we sometime on the weekends. <laughs> and then my weekends get cluttered with work every weekend. So then, where's the stream time? <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, how about uh, a week, a weekdays after a school time, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll try to do that as well. 
you know, a good mix between the two, like weekends and, you know, uh, evening like school uh, week weekdays. Like, like again, I don't know everyone's time zone by heart, but if I'm going by like my time zone, and assuming that's a common one with all of you guys, like we're either in that time zone or roughly around that time zone, then yeah, <laughs> then uh, this stream won't be happening during major school hour, I would say. <laughs> so yeah, I'm always very, very um, wary on trying to know when I should and should not stream. <laughs> uh, Alba says, what's your thoughts on Trina Riffin or Vanna Glam? Uh, okay, I that's from GarageBand, yeah. No, uh, Trina's from GarageBand. Vanna's from Sidekick. <laughs> I was like, I was just re I just was like reading, remembering the first name. I was like, that's GarageBand, and I was like, my mind was like, wait a minute, there was a second name in there. <laughs> uh, um, I, comparing both, I do like Vanna more, but I do find it actually incredibly interesting, uh, and also really good story and lore to have all of their songs written from her diary secretly. I think that's really cool to have in the series. But yeah, I think if I had to pick one as a favorite, I would definitely go with Vanna. <laughs> I was actually also re-watching Sidekick like last month and that was fun on, on Teletoon Plus <laughs> because it's on Teletoon Plus for anyone who does not know. Sidekick is on. Teletoon Plus. <laughs> and it will be on Teletoon Plus. Forever! I don't know. I don't know if Teletoon Plus like removes or uh Well I know I was gonna say removes or adds, but I know it adds stuff, but I don't know if it like removes Re okay, no. I wonder if it would remove and then add things later. You know how Netflix does it? Like we'll remove X show and then bring it back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I said, I don't know if it'll do that, because it hasn't been out long enough, I don't think. Blue Anderson says, Eric and Trevor from Sidekick hitting the gritty. <laughs> Those are some funky characters. Eric and uh, Trevor. <laughs> Man, I think Trevor might have to be my favorite character from the show. <laughs> He's such a... Like you said, Dave is just Dave. <laughs> I think Trevor is another one who's like, Trevor is just, uh, Trevor. <laughs> you know, he's just, he's just Trevor. <laughs> There's no helping him. It's just Trevor. He's just Trevor. <laughs> I, I, like, I really like, um, like, the lore with him. Like, his dad is, like, the main bad guy of the show. Nobody knows it. Not even him. Like, <laughs> That's really interesting, and then all this disguise, like, how he's also trying to hide it from his son, but also seeing if he can hintly convert his son into being evil, and then also having his Zox personality equally, not if not more, trying to convert his son to being evil. Plus, his last name is Trouble Meyer, which I absolutely add Meyer. <laughs> I'm gonna need some laughing emoticons for that because that was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I really do like his last name and also like just him in the lore, what he is, what he is, and what people, certain people are trying to do to him in the lore. I really like how they chose that for a last name. Trevor is such a Dave. <laughs> you know, uh, that, I guess that could be a, a, a true. He is very much like Dave, so he uh, he wouldn't need to be his own thing, because <laughs> there's already a Dave. Uh, Alba says, who haven't heard of Busted? It's a British pop punk band from the 2000s. Uh, those guys have been done... Have been do doing it, I guess, or have it been done? Or maybe been doing their band thing for 20 years. Uh, I don't think I've heard of Busted actually. So a British British pop rock, sorry, not rock, British pop punk band. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've heard that. 
uh, one bougie mashup. So remember my AI? I did a Juice World singing sidekick. Uh, I remember you were gonna, yeah. <laughs> you were you were working on it, right? Those guys' names are James, Matt, and Charlie. So those are the 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 members of Busted, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of them actually. You're still working on the auto tune, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be so funny to hear him th sing it. <laughs> sidekick, sidekick. <laughs> what an awesome gig. <laughs> Just like superheroes. <laughs> yeah, but only half as big. Sidekick. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty hyped to hear. And then you, I, I remember your Johnny Test one. Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack. <laughs> It'll be too good. Well, that's good to hear, knowing that you already, you already know what it sounds like so far. But you're working on the auto tune, and you already know it's gonna be good. <laughs> then that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. <laughs> Sidekick. Splits bro kids and we go to sidekick school <laughs> Learning to be second best while playing by the rules <laughs> I'm releasing uh, an unfinished mashup on my file Ooh, an unreleased one. I never I never seen before <laughs> And will be good Listen carefully, that episode of Girls vs. Aliens, Attack of the Killer Virus. I think I, oh yeah, I, th I remember that. But year 3000 is the song was on there. Oh, did you use a song in there? Called year, year 3000. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to remember, like, remembering a certain song there. A lot of plans to do. I think we're back. <laughs> I think we're back now. Back in action? <laughs> anyway, for my uh, mashups, I'm gonna make Lucid Johnny Test. Ooh, ooh, that sounds cool. Or is, it me, is that someone I don't know? <laughs> Lucid Johnny? I, I just see Johnny and then I'm assuming it's Johnny Test. <laughs> Johnny? J -j -j Johnny. I mean, there's someone I don't know who's Lucid Johnny. Johnny! <laughs> but it's to be determined, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, to be determined, yeah. If you got time, then, you know, go for it, right? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, 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 we'll see. If it shall become. You know what? I wonder what... I'm <laughs> thinking about my camera. I wonder what would happen if I go into full screen. <laughs> Yo, there I am. It's glitchy glitch me. <laughs> Let me look though. Okay. What about the other one? <laughs> yeah. There it is. Let's just go back to normal. Normal stream thing. Stream a, stream a thing thing. Stream a thing thing. <laughs> I gotta buy that camera. Because, uh... Two streams in a row. I don't even know what happened last stream. I don't even remember what it was if this happened. Might have. I just tune it all out and it all just, you know, ju goes into one thing. Busted did another song. Year. Oh, yeah, that's one. The one you used. Uh, year 3000. 17 years later, Jonas Brothers cover this, covered the song after Busted broke up after 2005. Well, a lot of things happened in 2005. <laughs> So it had some new light, I see, huh? Oh, that stream. I don't remember, I don't remember that at all. Although I don't remember, I don't even know if there are any camera issues in there. Maybe, maybe not, don't know. <laughs> but yeah, two streams in a row is too much to call a little, a small glitch or small mistake on its part. 
plus <laughs> while making a video having to stop which I've done I've done many times I had to stop and not redo but like start up a new session because it just crapped out on me I've had to do that so many times like um, you guys are gonna see a FNAF fan game video called Afton's Re if I'm not a, I'm not saying you have to watch it <laughs> uh, any FNAF fans who would watch it you'll may see a video of me playing this fan game called Afton's Revenge it happened in there a few times or so from what I remember so <laughs> there's a behind the scenes for ya <laughs> Uh, one bougie mashup says I have a lot of mega mixes that's unreleased, but I'm gonna make a mega mix for the summer. Ooh, wow! So yeah, I might add Johnny Test in it. So yeah, I will release a trailer snippet of it. Nice. Anything with Johnny Test in it is like a an immediate like yay <laughs> for me. Yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your thoughts on Paige? Paige Chong. Paige Chong. <laughs> Tomo Chong is a go. <laughs> Tomo Chong is a go. <laughs> I get a right to do that because I'm allowed to. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I still want to. Like, <laughs> Tomo Chong is a go. <laughs> I, I just I just I said that like once and then I just started saying that forever. Tomo <laughs> chan is a go. Anyway, I don't know. I have to uh, open my video of it. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember. just do it. There it is. There it is. Now I gotta go to a theme song and see whose name ends up with who. <laughs> go, 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 Uh, Zara, Ivy, Jackie, Paige. Oh, Paige, okay. That's Paige. She reminds me of uh, Kitty from uh, sidekick actually and from what I remember she's she didn't she get a, like a crush on uh, Johnny if that was the thing unless that was someone else <laughs> but yeah interesting design I do if there was some kitty inspiration there then that's pretty cool also uh, the Mega Mix will be so good, and summer will be uh, epic. But I'm going to high school, so yeah, I'm graduating on June 30th. Oh, you're graduating, then going to high school. That sounds good. Wow, June 30th. So April, January, April, May, and April, May, June. You got two more months. Of uh, regular school, man. <laughs> Two months left. Then you're gonna be going to high school. Johnny Test will be epic for the Mega Mix, and I might have a highlight of Canada's Wonder Rides for my Mega Mix. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, you said you're going. <laughs> the Wonderland rides. <laughs> uh, a little highlight. Like, did you film? Do you mean like you film stuff there? Or while you were there? Or are going there? You have a Devant art count, do ya? Oh, you know what? I think I've seen it. Because I feel like I've seen Susan and Mary when I was browsing John hashtag Johnny Test. <laughs> I think I might have seen uh, your style in Su of Susan and Mary. I feel like I've seen that. Uh, also, I will have a high school transition program for summer transition, so I have 18, oh, 18 days of high school to go to for summer. Oh, okay, well, you know, 18's not so bad. Are you, like, like, um, when you're gradu graduating this summer, are you, like, 
starting or like having 18 days out of your summer to go there um, in between graduation and starting high school or is it like after high school I, like a day I mean I don't know <laughs> okay in between starting okay that makes sense yeah <laughs> that's what I was thinking but then a second thing came to my mind like <laughs> what, what about like uh, after high school <laughs> or like after a day do you have to stay for 18 days but yeah no <laughs> Like, you know, make up 18 days of whatever. Kind of like detention, but like not detention, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know how in detention you gotta stay? <laughs> uh, so, you know, that kind of concept, but not detention. Starting July 1st. Okay, so... Do you... So are you like, do you have to like, go to start... Like, start high school from J July 1st to 18th, I guess? And then, you know, say bye-bye, and then you come back, I guess? I think that's probably... makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I think. And some people vape in high school, so I think, yeah. Man, people vaping? <laughs> I mean, at least it's safer than regular smoking, but then there's also, like, you know, you're still doing it. <laughs> You're still, you're still gonna, you're still doing it. Plus it has smells, like fruits, I don't know. What would, what if the world would be, or what would the world be like if, or when all the females ages 10 to 25 wearing girls versus alien superhero counterpart outfits? Um... It would be a spectacular Halloween, <laughs> I might say. Like, could you imagine a can you imagine a twenty-five year old wearing that? Sheesh. <laughs> but I think my summer ends on August. I don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's pretty regular, right? So you'll have just the beginning-ish of July, and then you'll have. In the remainder of July and uh, then you have the whole August until and then the remain the, the little bit of September then you start high school <laughs> but yeah at least there's like a full month in there right <laughs> uh, full months but yeah I th I'm pretty sure they do end on August like I haven't been to school for a long time so I don't like I always get mixed up when summer starts like I've, at one point I th thought summer started in Sorry, school, out of school summer started in J June, and that is very much uh, incorrect. <laughs> very much incorrect. Uh, and my real school year starts at September, so I have to focus on my high school instead of mashups if I have free time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always gotta focus on school or work before you get into any to get into or further into any of your like. Uh, hobbies <laughs> like in in my perspective I have to focus on physical work before online work and both of those two things would have to come before any of my hobbies <laughs> yeah so yeah everyone has their version of that you know Albot says also what if uh, total drama girls would also wear the girls versus aliens superhero counterpart outfits um hmm that would make an interesting little edit for the total drama action episode where uh i forget the name but it was that superhero th you know how every tda episode had some kind of a genre to it that episode had a superhero theme, so seeing an edit there would be interesting. Uh, one bougie mashup says, and also in high school, people get into fights, so if I see a fight, I'm running the, <laughs> the sword away. <laughs> running the heck away. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, when I was in high school, have I seen any fights? I don't think so, but I also had the privilege of going to a small high school, like not a city school, because I grew up in the country, 
so I went to like the small high school for, you know, it was, population was small, uh, the building was, it was big, but city high schools are bigger. <laughs> so I don't think I've seen any fights uh, in my time, but of course my high school time was in a very much different environment, so I have no clue how city high schools would work. Assuming you're in a city, though, of course. But yeah, I feel like city and uh, sorry, city and rural high schools would be very different from each other. <laughs> yeah, quite different. But yeah, overall, I think people did get along pretty well. I have to say, from me uh, observing how people reacted to each other in high school people actually didn't really like me a lot <laughs> I think it was because I was very very different from everybody else cuz whenever I tell people like yeah I'm from the country and I have to uh, add to that like I know it may not look like it but I am from the country <laughs> like, I know it doesn't look like it at all but I am from the country um, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? I forget what I was gonna say. Drug. <laughs> Drug. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, people didn't like me too much. Like, I was like the one guy with like long hair, and that was like scary to people, and also teachers as well. <laughs> I guess like like this is short compared to me in high school like this is nothing <laughs> compared to me in high school so everyone had like a really bad impression of me so I had no friends in high school <laughs> like very 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 few I just schooling in general I had very 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 few friends <laughs> like in regular school like middle school I think it's called I had two friends <laughs> Obviously, in high school, you meet other people. Um, then that two turned into a you know, different number, but it was still very, 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 very small. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think I've seen any fights from my experience. But yeah, again, rural and urban high schools are probably very different. Um, Albot says, what's your thoughts on Shannon from Girls vs. Aliens? She's similar to Vanna from Sidekick. Shannon... Is she similar to, to Vanna? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Um, Shannon. Shannon. Zara, Ivy, Jackie. Oh, Shannon. Hey. <laughs> Shannon! <laughs> Shannon! <laughs> Shannon! Shannon! Um... I think overall she might have to be my favorite because I think her design is probably her design is probably my favorite out of all uh, characters so yeah <laughs> and also because she's similar to Vanna that's pretty cool too and in high school people sell drugs <laughs> in there where I'm going like I'm not gonna take that thing like bro <laughs> like no you stay away from that stuff you know if that is the case then I feel like urban high schools are definitely very different from rural high schools because I don't think I've ever seen drug. Can I say? Can I even say it? Drug. That's all I'll say it. All silly like. <laughs> and then you two will be like, "What did you say?" <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone sell that substances. <laughs> um, have I seen people smoke? Yes, I have. Have I seen people smoke in the washroom? Yes. Not me personally seeing it, but hearing and smelling come from the washrooms? Yes. <laughs> um, have I been... Have I... I don't even remember. Have I been pressured, peer pressured into smoking? Because I remember one of my cool kid friends. No, I don't think I've ever been pressured into uh, smoking the only reason I thought it be is because um, the cool kid friend who did smoke was trying to be buddy buddy with me 
Not that I minded he was trying to be buddy-buddy with me, but... I don't know. Back then, knowing peer pressure? You know, one could think that could be some sort of peer pressure. I don't know, but... <laughs> Yeah, it never turned into a scenario where it wa it was just peer pressure. It never turned into that, though. So, I don't think I've ever been peer pressured into uh, doing any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, you stay far away from that stuff. <laughs> and uh, the, the kids who will uh, do that. Am I saying, like, don't make friends with any of them? No, because I had friends who did that stuff. Were we close friends? No, but were we some acquaintance friends? Yes. <laughs> and they, if they want to do it, they can do it, but they have no right to, you know, force or pressure you into submitting to uh, trying, like, at least trying it. Like, you know, they can say, yeah, try it, <laughs> you know? Just don't. <laughs> Just don't. Um, yeah, it is City. I would have thought, yeah. At the end of the episode, Attack of the Killer Virus. Four Shope clones holding... Oh, yeah, that one. Holding Dakota. <laughs> Probably is called Peer Pressure. <laughs> oh, man. I remember that was at the very, very ending. Uh, of the episode. <laughs> the very ending. They're, uh, they're all carrying <laughs> uh, Dakota away. Yeah, good, very good call. Stay far away from that stuff. And uh, yeah, if possible, if you can like identify like who is that kind of kid, <laughs> then you'll have a, you know, an, an advantage. Uh, some would some to say <laughs> uh, a little advantage to know who not to you know communicate too much with <laughs> like obviously if you're in the same class and you have to communicate through some things in class then like then you probably would have to right but <laughs> I like in my high school like I've <laughs> I, I didn't communicate with like anybody <laughs> like I no one wanted to communicate with me. I didn't want to communicate with anyone. We got over it. We got our, we got along just fine. <laughs> just just like my friend people, just like my only communicate communicants. <laughs> Cuz uh I'd have to say like most of the people in any class I haven't communicated with anyone who I who wasn't in a friend group of mine <laughs> at all like ever. <laughs> ever. And they bully you in, in the, yeah, that's peer pressure. That's pure, that's just, that's called peer pressure. Uh, nobody never seen the, nobody never seen one Girls vs. Aliens episode, which League of Monster Dominators. Yeah, that's one I haven't seen, I don't think. <laughs> Monsters. Oh, crap. All about, we, we can't use the word monster. You and me. I'm gonna get sued right now, and you gotta change your title. <laughs> you know why? Cause a certain drink is gonna sue you, and he's gonna and they're gonna sue me for this. <laughs> Cause I just said the mon I said the monster I said the monster word, which I have to now censor it with the word monster. <laughs> Cause a certain drink isn't gonna like us using these words or that word. <laughs> Control surge, just desserts. Send the clones, boy, trouble. Deep sea, deep blue sea, sea seepless in Marin, Marilyn Hills, and the ultimate fantasy. The ultimate weapon. <laughs> I like that. The ultimate weapon, though. It's like a Lego Ninjago uh, movie thing. The ultimate weapon. A whole. Ep I remember that. I remember that too. And a whole episode of Danger Force. <laughs> It was all there. I've heard someone also done like a a Mario movie, like a whole thing, post somewhere. Like I saw like a little thing, or someone told me <laughs> that, you know. <laughs> em. Uh, that's pretty wild. That like, I know on twenty 
two minute episode is large and file, but imagine a movie. On Twitter, yes, I've heard the SpongeBob movie was there on Twitter too. Like, the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so, is the Mario movie one too? If so, I'm gonna go with a no. <laughs> After that, when you do that, they suspend your account. Yeah, I could imagine they would do that. Because there's no reason not to do that. <laughs> to suspend your account for doing that. Uh, you've heard about that too, Blue Anderson, yeah. <laughs> Spongebob movie and <laughs> Mario all on, fully on Twitter. <laughs> like, could you imagine? And then the trouble you, you, you would get into and then would get in trouble with. <laughs> that is pretty uh, nuts, I have to say. But kudos to the people who caught it before it got taken down though. <laughs> you see that there that's okay I, I in my opinion that's okay to do but taking down my goddamn stupid totally spies videos that's dumb <laughs> those three four minutes you know that's just dumb <laughs> that's just stupid they're harmless like I don't know. anyway uh, Albot says, what, what's your thoughts on Zara, Ivy, Jackie, Paige, and Shannon <laughs> from Girls vs. Aliens? Uh, well, I mean, I feel like they're a good team. They look like a good team all together. And, uh, you know, working <laughs> working together and all having an, a, a uniform all together. So, I feel like they could work, they work off uh, of each other pretty well. I have two Sai. Oh. <laughs> Maybe Cyan. I don't know. Because <laughs> isn't like a word that sat looks similar to that? Uh, a drug? <laughs> a drug? <laughs> Dr -dr drug? And Happiness OC is named Ivy and Paige. Ivy's an emo, and Paige is a fangirl. <laughs> A fangirl. You gotta love fangirl characters, right? <laughs> Ivy does sound like an emo character name, though, I gotta say. Yeah, about posting the whole movie. <laughs> I can't believe people can do that. Like, Do you know how long that would take to process? Like, I don't think it would let you post it until it's done processing, and, like, it's... A huge file and very, very, very long too. <laughs> like, whoa. I wanna, I wanna pick up the DVD of the Mario movie though. Um, does anyone know if it, like the DVD is announced yet? Like, if it has a release date or if it's already out? Because if it is already out, I wanna go to Walmart, <laughs> like whenever I can, and uh, go scr scourge around the DVD bins and like look around for it. <laughs> The Twitter post got taken down and the account got suspended. Yeah. <laughs> Much so. <laughs> Much so. Like, again, that I can see. Like, sure, that's okay. But my goddamn Total Spice videos? They're just like three minutes. <laughs> Why did they need to go? What did I do? Did I talk about something that you didn't want to be talked about? But it was leaked anyways, or maybe you revealed it anyways, and you just, you're you offended when people talk about it? Is it, uh, and, am I not allowed to show the teaser? Is it, uh, I am not salty towards Zodiac. Zodiac is great. Yeah, Zodiac. Fine people. Really good. Zodiac. Zodiac. Anyway, <laughs> you do not, yeah, at the end of the day, if we are to take anything from that lesson, you do not mess with Nintendo. <laughs> you do not mess with Nintendo. <laughs> uh, have you met No Parking Barry? 
I think I've seen you mention that name before. He's maybe doing a third and final Disney Channel request live stream on Saturday night. Disney Channel request? What does that mean? <laughs> Disney Channel requests. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Disney Channel, final Disney Channel request. Sounds like I'm requesting something. <laughs> Just don't. Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo, don't do it. Nin Just Nintendo, don't do it. <laughs> See, if they marketed themselves like uh, in a in a privacy and or piracy format that would be so good <laughs> just don't just just don't nin just just nintendo don't do it okay <laughs> just don't <laughs> it means a drawing live stream request oh okay okay i get it i get it <laughs> i get it i didn't know uh drawing like <laughs> had to do with that Final Disney Channel drawing request live stream. Saturday night. S -s -s Saturday night. Privacy is no party. <laughs> Privacy is no party. Just Nintendo, don't do it. <laughs> Clover looks like her? Really? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Do they have the same hair? Because that'd be funny. Or do you mean like... Okay, what well he said looks like, though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome to the stream, Marilyn. We were... Uh, at the beginning of the stream, we were talking about four total points of the Totally Spies news. And uh, we're just, you know, finishing up and... Well, we finished up the news portion of the stream. Now we're just, uh, you know, hanging out, talking about, you know, <laughs> cartoons, video games, all that stuff. But, uh... Yeah, for anyone who's just tuning in right now, if you are interested in the news portion of the stream, when we're finished with it, uh, I encourage you to uh, rewind throughout the stream and uh, check out the news points. And uh, yeah, maybe there's something that you didn't hear about that I covered, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Nosebleed? I always wish there was a nosebleed emoticon. Like, you know when you, like, uh... I mean, like, on PC, if you right-click and it goes... What did it say? Like, right-click, emoji. <laughs> I always wish there was, like, a nosebleed thing. Um, and on mobile, you know how you get to the emoticons and stuff in that way. I always wish that there was a nosebleed uh, emoticon in there somewhere. <laughs> I always wish that. I don't think there is one. Or ever will be one. <laughs> I don't think so. You should join DJ Barry's stream someday and meet him. Luckily, you guys have much in common. <laughs> How much do we have in common? Because, like, whenever I hear someone um, compare me with someone to have someone in common with, it's always like Canada, name. Or Johnny Test. <laughs> That's like all I hear when someone compares me to someone. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? Like the most, <laughs> the most common one is voice. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot. Like that was like the most common one. <laughs> Star Wars, Jedi, and surviving. <laughs> ah. One bougie mashup says, I'm back. Welcome back. I'm back too. <laughs> I just went to to Zodiac headquarters and filed a, a complaint. And I'm back from that. <laughs> hmm. That is some good water. Very good water. <laughs> Very good water. You both live in Canada, so that's one of them, and you both do live streams. Okay, well there's one, or I guess a, n a new one. <laughs> a new one to add to the list. That's true, yeah, one of those mashups. You're also Canadian as well. 
Canada. <laughs> Canada. Canada. Camera. <laughs> Camera. That I need to buy. It's on sale. <laughs> Oh, Blue Anderson's also a fellow Canadian as well. Ooh, that's interesting. A fellow Canadian. <laughs> really? Canada high school in cities are brutal? Because Alba says I'm American? Yeah. I would have thought like American high schools would be brutal. Like, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I've only had the pleasure of going to a rural one where... <laughs> they know that these students aren't going anywhere so they don't really care <laughs> and uh ergo i've turned out to be a s dummy stupid head in society <laughs> because they they didn't teach me <laughs> they didn't teach me spongebob and patrick hitting the gritty <laughs> hitting the gritty <laughs> Where's the leak, ma'am? <laughs> I don't know. Finland? Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We, we just did our thing and just attended school. They Again, they knew that these kids weren't going anywhere. They weren't leaving the town or whatever, the tri-state. They weren't getting anywhere big. And then <laughs> you look at me. I left the tri-state, and I'm wherever I may be right now, <laughs> and uh, I'm still a failure. <laughs> Nothing changed. I just left the area and brought my failureness with me. <laughs> I didn't leave it. But then my mom's always like, uh, you can think of uh, all the people who stayed. What are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Did they move on? Are they... Did they change? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know anyone there. <laughs> I didn't never talk to anyone in high school except a small hand... few... Handful, that's the word. Handful of people. <laughs> One of Bougie Mashup says, And vape in the washroom, and if I go in the washroom, I'm gonna blow the smoke away. <laughs> Yeah, and then you gotta think like, would they be offended by that? Just because you're not, you don't appreciate the smoke in this area that you're allowed to be in, right? Just take it outside. <laughs> Just take it outside. It's always, always also very scary to think about their feelings in the matter. Like they feel like their their feelings matter just so much but then they don't think your feelings of i don't need the smoke in the washroom which i am allowed to go to um they don't feel like like oh i should consider other people's feelings <laughs> but then the other way around like you should consider my feelings because i want to smoke in the washroom <laughs> Ugh, people <laughs> people what if all the girls middle and high school wearing the girls vs. aliens superhero counterpart outfits? Girls vs. aliens been overset. Oh, wait, that's a separate thing. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> I could see something like that happening in Japan. <laughs> I could see something like that happening in Japan. Seven years in the making. Wow, that's cool. A really, a really long time. <laughs> That'd be nice to see, though. Yeah. Uh, one of Bougie mashups is Canada is also brutal because of high schools selling substances. <laughs> yeah, we, we probably can't use that word, <laughs> so we'll just substitute it with the word sub substances. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, like my thing is, I, I like I would expect American high schools to do that over uh, Canadian high schools. Not to say that there is none in Canada that wouldn't do that, of course. But <laughs> I do feel like American high schools would overrule in like the substance dealing in there. <laughs> 
blue, red, blue, green, and gray shirt. Hit the gritty. <laughs> Hit the gritty. They got caught by Autumn. <laughs> they got caught by Autumn. Hitting the gritty. <laughs> I don't even know what hitting the gritty means, but I just find that funny. <laughs> hitting the gritty. Yo, ma, I'm gonna hit the gritty. <laughs> yeah. Um. But as long as you don't like get involved with all that stuff and also avoid when you can the people around that substances um, overall I think you will have an okay experience or you know be okay as well what if or what or what would it be like if Susan and Mary sissy Janet Nelson jr. Claire and Joni and Jillian wearing Girls vs. Aliens superhero counterpart outfits. Hmm. Hmm. What, what would they do? They would be forming their own uh, personal Avengers for the for pork belly. <laughs> <laughs> They're forming their own, their own Avengers, um, team to defend Pork Belly, because Johnny X is uh, unreliable. <laughs> One Bougie mashup says, and I found an old video of Senator, which I am going to. Some kid was boxing another kid in. And in Senator, where I'm going, I saw a video of someone in that high school of the, of the last day of graduation. They spread a lot. They're boxing each other? What the hey? <laughs> what? A lot of peanut butter on the stairs and door- What? What were they- What? What? <laughs> what mindset do you have to be in to, like, think of doing something like that? Peanut butter, peanut butter, yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, when was this? I was, I can find out how long ago, because I was streaming with my, a friend from high school on Roblox Piggy, and he was telling me about all this school stuff where they were taking urinals and I don't know, whole big things and just taking them out? When was that? Uh, okay, I went past it clearly. <laughs> oh, here it is. Streamed one year ago. What year was this? <laughs> I don't know. 2021, okay. So in 2021, a lot of that stuff was happening. <laughs> A lot of that stuff was happening. Oh, I remember the stream. I was gonna stream with uh, one of my friends, but she uh, she had something to do, so she couldn't make it. So I <laughs> I was like I was like I asked my friend from high school if he wanted it <laughs> if he wanted to come, and uh, that so happened to be the case. <laughs> and that just so happened to be the case. Yeah, I remember that live stream. <laughs> I remember. Anyway, um, back on topic. Uh, I also have an OC named Claire. Oh my god, there's a lot of Johnny characters you got. You got Jillian and Claire. <laughs> That's funny. Heck, I'm going to try to make an OC for every name in the world. Oh my god. That takes a lot of uh, thinking to do because there's a lot of names and you might forget that you already have someone named something. Uh, that sounds like an interesting challenge though. And people are allergic to peanut butter. Yes, that is true. You're putting the, on the stairs and handles and I guess stairwell handle thing. Like that strong, that long... Thing that you put your hand on when you're going downstairs, like <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hey? And peanut butter is not cheap. It is not cheap. <laughs> I don't know. My latest OC was Sina. I think you pronounce that, or Sina. 
which my friend made for me, and that was 50 minutes ago. Wow, so this is like a fresh one. <laughs> Scent? Okay. How do you pr pronounce that? Sina? Or Saina? <laughs> I don't even know. They both seem applicable. Applicable. Peanut butter graduation prank. A matter of life and death. <laughs> says severe, or says student with severe allergy. On stream? Um, hmm. Let me just give a quick rundown to see if there's anything that I shouldn't show. I'm, I'm assuming not because it's news. All right. <laughs> I shall pull that up. <laughs> what the hell? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. How many of you guys are allergic to peanut butter? Actually, do you, do you guys are you guys allergic to peanut butter? Because if so, sensitive topic. <laughs> Graduation prank gone too far. Sienna is pronounced C Anna. Okay, Sienna. Okay, Sienna. 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 <laughs> S -s -s Sienna. Okay, this is the 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 the, the, the wild and the crazy peanut butter prank from five years ago. It looks like wow. Right, let's grab that on the screen. However, we do that. Uh, display, I think. New at source. Oh, there's something. Well, <laughs> definitely not that. <laughs> Remove. Not rename, remove. There it is. Get the popcorn? <laughs> Let's get the popcorn. See, that's the problem with uh, not streaming. I don't remember how to do things. Uh, window. Is it window? Window capture? That seems like the only other logical explanation I could think of. <laughs> Um, window, 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 Google, is this it? Oh, there we go. A thing! Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> okay. Uh, volume is on, yes. Okay. Anyone with peanut allergies? <laughs> Beware! It's an intentional act to hurt people. It's an people intentional act to hurt to people. That every day. Safety issues. They, and this puts them that in is true. Head. You know, you can't go into a school. You're supposed to think that you're safe. And, you know, we do what we can with allergies. That's what life is all about. We're not asking people to stop using peanut butter. We're just asking people to have some compassion and empathy mm -hmm. and have some understanding and create some awareness. To say it bluntly is kind of stupid because. It's literally life and death, and I think for some people... <laughs> Are we lolling peanut butter allergies right now? Because <laughs> if so, I want to be part of this. That grade 11 and 12 students were sent home for the day. crews acted quickly and disinfected part of the school. Disinfected the school. The school should fully reopen tomorrow, but not before... Where's that peanut emoticon? It needs to be fully washed down. Dear God. Wow. Trace amounts of peanut butter are, are removed, as it can be potentially life-threatening for those with uh, a, a Lol. <laughs> Lol. There's no word yet if students involved will be punished. Peanut butter products aren't banned at Toronto Catholic schools, but the board says it does have policies in place to protect students with severe allergies. Mm. The City News viewer called us this morning and told us about the situation at Senator O'Connor. If you've got a news tip, here are the ways you can get in touch with us. Thank you! Guys, should we 
Should we call them and give a, a like a uh, like a, a super cool prank at 3 a.m. gone wrong? Oh, let's do it. Let's get this number. <laughs> let's go. Hey, uh, city news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't think of something. You take it. Uh, my shirt caught on fire. It happened. Make a new story on it. <laughs> so that school is where you're going, is that so? Senator. Oh yeah, you said Senator. O'Connor College. Well, hopefully it's not, nothing like this happens again. Wow, it's so nostalgic seeing an actual, an actual school building. <laughs> Very nostalgic. Because my, my, uh, my school had that same color, I think. Mm, half of it. Because, like, if we had, like, two stories, the bottom outside story I felt like was that color, then the top was something else. I can't remember. <laughs> Lamau. I can't react to that. That'd get hilariously copyrighted. <laughs> hilariously copyrighted. <laughs> hilariously copyrighted. <laughs> and I was reading that, that bottom text. That was some dark stuff down there. The, the text that just like moves like that. That was some dark stuff. Uh, Vaney passes. People just need to know how to be, how to human, how to be human. Like, I love peanut butter. It's like one of my favorite snacks and stuff. Snacks and stuff. I eat it like every day, multiple times a day, I'd say. Basically every morning too. But like even, like, I love peanut butter, but seeing it used in this way, mm, I'm not a fan of. Who haven't heard of Nutty Butter? Nutter Butter. Oh my god, I, I, I read the Spongebob. No, I, <laughs> Spongebob. You know Spongebob? It's a season 9 episode. It might have been called Nutty Butter. Don't know, but it's when Sandy started her Nutty Butter selling business. <laughs> she was selling Nutty Butter. <laughs> yeah, it would get hilariously copyrighted. For real. Yeah, for real. Whoa, 33 people like this? Wow, that was some pop that was a popular story. Man, this was five years ago. This was two weeks ago. Oh my god. It was the only comment that's not five years old. Oh my god. It's five years ago, I feel it's like yesterday, I remember everyone went to Woodbine Beach after the school closed that day. Wow. Jules. 2957 must have went to the school. Sandy's Nutmare. Okay, yeah, that sounds familiar. So that must have been the name. <laughs> Nutmare. <laughs> Nutmare. <laughs> nutty butter. Nutty butter, 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 nutty butter. Party rockers in the house. Definitely not intentional. <laughs> I can see that. If you see this, do not enroll to Senators O'Connor College School. It is the school for you if you are a devout Catholic student and want to study for four years. Go do yourself in a flame and enroll in a different Catholic school. Really? <laughs> what the hey? <laughs> is it that bad though? <laughs> I mean, this peanut butter prank is bad. And all the stuff you were saying earlier when Bougie mashed up with all the uh, substance sellage. <laughs> That's bad. So, I mean, hmm. I guess there's certain like versions of a high school. Like, like, a high school can be bad this way and then it can escalate. And then there's another tier, you know? It is that bad. Ooh, freak, man. Well... I wish you the best. Good luck. Because, uh, this does sound, seem a little, this seems tough to go through, I feel like, coming up for you. See, on Saturday, 
just in case you're doing another live stream again or in the future. Yeah, I'm going to yeah more more live streams in the future and stuff. Um, I feel like I do want to do a live stream to test out my new camera that I haven't bought yet that hopefully didn't go not on sale within this these past two hours because <laughs> that would suck. Uh, nope, still on sale. That's good. I was thinking of like you know doing a let's talk to like test out this new camera. I'm really looking forward to um, this new camera not having the fisheye um, effect that I can't get rid of. <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know like the the uh, camera or, you know uh, microphone lingo, oh I can get that off the screen actually. Um, okay. You see, you see the, where, the, okay, this, you know what, this is easier, bound down here. You see how this is not straight, like, I'll move my finger straight, it looks like it's ramping up. Or I can maybe hold my finger straight, actually, that's a better example, maybe not, because it's hard to do. I don't know, well, here's my finger straight, and look at the difference my fingers straight in reality that is straight but the fish eye camera <laughs> effect is making it look like it is uh, very much uh, you know ramped upward a bit uh, this is a lot easier to notice for any videos you see from seven to ten months ago <laughs> very very noticeable like you'll see the wall that back there um, in reality, it is straight, but on the camera's perspective, it is looking like it is, you know, coming from straight and then doing this, you know. <laughs> it is a little scary. Because, <laughs> like, t it's funny to see. You know, yeah, it's just funny to see, period. <laughs> it was just quite humorous to witness. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Anyway. I feel like as well, we should start wrapping up the stream. Um, thank you guys for tuning on in and hanging out. And yeah, we were talking about some Totally Spies news. So again, if anyone's just tuning in now, you want to see the to Totally Spies news, I highly recommend that you uh, check out the beginning portion of the stream to, uh, you know, get all caught up. Um, there will be um, timeline, whatever they're called, segments on the stream when it's over so you know when you go over the timeline of the video um, the red line that you see if you <laughs> the red line you can see on the screen when you move your cursor over it whatever that thing is called um, there will be some dividers dividing segment uh, one two three and four of the news and there will be this long segment of the you know the aftermath of the live stream with the you know discussion and stuff all that stuff yeah, <laughs> so that'll be arriving shortly after the stream ends. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, for now on, I think I will have to do. I will. Okay, we'll see what the, we'll see what Zodiac feel. We'll see what Zodiac feels about this. If I don't show anything, totally spice. I can just talk about it. Will they take the stream down? Uh, only time will tell. And uh, if this seems like a positive thing, then <laughs> I'm going to have to make Totally Spies live news streams, all that stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. <laughs> That'll probably be it. Um, yeah, thank you too for tuning on in as well. And you have a good day as well. Um, what do we have upcoming for videos? What do we have? Uh... Top 10 facts about Mary Test is uh, completely finished and is on the way. <laughs> and I don't know when, it just I'm just trying to look for a release date for that. Um, more Cosmic Shake videos for Spongebob. If anyone does not know, I am doing a Let's Play series on the Cosmic Shake. And I'm having an absolute blast with do it, playing that and uh, is one of my favorite Let's Play series I've done so far. Um, and I have, I have, I have an absolute blast with it. And when I finish that game, I'm, I'm gonna be, yeah. After I'm finished playing the Cosmic Shake, you guys are gonna hear it first. I'm gonna be playing the Johnny Test game. I'm gonna be playing the Johnny Test DS game after I'm finished Cosmic Shake. So that's gonna be something to look forward to. <laughs> um, some FNAF. 
fan game videos I have in the works. What else? And uh, some anime unboxing videos that are also in the works. So that is what I have coming up for you guys. And yeah, <laughs> thank you for tuning on to the stream. Danger Force stream. Uh, you see, that's one of the things that I can't do because like I don't know anything about them, about the show. Like, like Ben 10. Like I can't make a Ben 10 video because I don't feel comfortable because I don't know much about it. <laughs> And there's a lot of other people like that would know that know a lot more about it than I do, and uh, like for Johnny Test, I'm very confident in saying like, "Yep, I can make a video about that," or I can base this whole channel off of it because I know just everything about it. <laughs> and uh, same goes with Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, all the little things that I do here and there, like totally spies. I know like a lot of stuff about that, and. Uh, what other videos do I make? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, just stuff that I know about and I can feel confident in saying. Or like, I can feel confident in presenting this information. Like, that's why I don't make FNAF videos about the books. Because I don't own any of the books and I don't know anything about the books. So I won't make any videos about the FNAF books. <laughs> yeah, that's why. But, yeah. Um... I will see you guys in an upcoming video and live stream. Which video? I don't know. <laughs> Probably a FNAF fan game video will come first. I don't know. And then top 10 facts about Mary. That's what I'm guessing will happen. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh yes, and a new camera will be coming. I'm gonna order it as soon as I end. Not as soon as I end the stream, but later tonight I'm gonna end. Uh, I'm gonna buy that new camera, <laughs> and hopefully it'll work. So I'll have to look forward to that. <laughs> yep. See you later, all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go to bed. <laughs> no, it's still too early to go to bed. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys later. You can stay up past your bedtime just this once. Alright. That's it. That's all I have. Go to bed. <laughs> no. I don't know. Alright. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> I'm going to press the button. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. <laughs> I'm pressing it. Here it goes. I'm pressing it. <laughs> it's going down. This is going down. You do have permission to stay up past your bedtime just for tonight. Alright, bye. <laughs> Alright, bye. That's all.